Late, 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 late. Blob. Och, MR Blob by Ifon Leo Cold Make us understand Blob. Och, MR Blob by Jaur Influence Will Spread Chrouk Houdelan. Udis, e o Knut Tidril. Sbim nala. Never forget the bub 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 bumper incident of 2024 when Club 601 caused chaos. I'm a shiny hunter and currently shiny hunting clam pearl, Corsola and Scatterbug gas of July 2024. Hello Huts 601. The Casino Night Enforcement Agency has arrived. Be aware.
sending love from the sexy saxophone zone, it's me, the mistress of the squish. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you all doing out there? It is just gone 10 past six here in the UK. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, as always. Also, there is a Teddo just down here. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Lackeys. Take it easy. Good evening, all you wonderful people. Evening to CBK, Lackeys, RPG, and Zan as well. Good evening to Batman, Cornell Red, Crazy O, Dozy Lie, Daisatis, Fluffy Squirrel, Ginger, Liam, Pallia, Shiny Zangetsu, Sleepy Space Sheep, Slither, Baron, Sonic, Ijigo, Time Man, The Akoma, and to everyone else who is here. Lovely to see you all. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. First reminder this is an 18 plus stream tonight. For it is Jump King, it is Struggle Gaming Sunday. So please do expect strong language throughout, or at least some strong language. If you're, of course, under the age of 18, maybe you should consider going and watching Bluey or something. I don't know. Heck indeed. Hecking gosh. <laughs> you're live on Channel 4. <laughs> channel 5? You're live on Channel 5? You can say fucking bugger. You can indeed. <laughs> Evening, Fluffy. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you're all ready for some Jump King. I hope you're ready for some struggle gaming tonight. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. It's good to get back on it. But uh, yeah, if, 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 if you're under 18, go watch Arg instead. Exactly that. Exactly that. Hey, Terraberry. Also, very, very quick update with the merch from the Pride. If you haven't seen the announcement in Discord, the first batch of T-shirts and stickers have all gone out. If you've ordered a T-shirt, it's gone out. If you've ordered a T-shirt with a glitter sticker pack, it's gone out. If you've ordered a T-shirt with any other pack... I'm holding it back. The reason for it is I don't have the 2023 or 2024 stickers yet. I'm still waiting for them to be delivered. They should come this week. So we'll get the rest of them out this week. Uh, likewise, if you just ordered a or just claimed a glitter sticker pack on, on its own, they are also being sent out. So, uh, Fluffy, yours is on its way. Yours is on its way. Evening, CBK. I'm sure RPG will give you the proper intro in a second. But uh, yeah, so just a little update on all the merch stuff for you all. Hopefully, that's all okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing some Junk King tonight. See if we can progress. I'm hoping we will. Shall we jump into it? Let's do it. I love how it pauses my music on this scene. Where is guest star? Where is chat? Why is all this broken? I thought I did. I thought if, I mean, Argic jump scare. I thought I fixed all. God damn it. I am a bad streamer. Right, there's chat. Hi, chat. Welcome back. Uh, where is where is RPG? RPG, come back! 
Ah, we've lost RPG chat. Everyone panic. Everyone panic. RPG is gone. He's not coming back. It's fine. Here he is. There he is. There you go. See, I'm a very good streamer. I'm a very good streamer. It's fine. He's not on the microphone yet, so it's all good. Hey, Bri. Good evening. Glenn Tober. How you doing as well? Lovely to see you. <laughs> the Immortal 61 question. Why is the layout not working? Um, Because stupid me forgot to check it all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did a dumb. <laughs> Which, to be honest, Bri, as well, is not very different from the usual either. Also, I have a snack tonight, chat. So uh, if, if, if you want to get yourself a little snack for tonight, I would suggest doing so. This is mine tonight. Uh, have you asked my permission first? I, I, I beg your pardon? Well, all I unmuted just, yeah, this is mine tonight. And I'm thinking, are we sharing? <laughs> R RPG is my snack tonight. I am a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I have a giant bag of Monster Munch Giants pickled onion. For, for all of you, by the way, that don't live in the UK, these are glorious. Oh my God, these are huge. God, they really are giant. They've upped the size of them. Ah. Mm. Look at the size of that. Oh. Mate, it's so good. So good. Uh, they sound it. Oh. Right. You got your game loaded? I am booting it up now. Lovely. So we got some struggle game. By the way, I tried to get the ravens working again earlier. Set them all up from the scratch. Don't. Still don't work. They're mm. just dead to us. Mm. They are. Mm. For a second, I was worried that it wasn't going to load. Also, I have Pepsi Max. So I've decided it's better than Coke Zero. Oh, um, Zanon's got a Zanon's got a request. Uh, one second. Uh, dirty. <laughs> Lovely. I've just realised on the vertical layout, all people can see is your blinds. So that's going well. Sorry, vertical people. <laughs> that's I, the I... most important part of my room. <laughs> I've done a really, really good job of setting things up tonight. Like, such a good job. What? what? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God. I, I've broken everything. I'm, I'm, to doing, be fair, so, I'm doing so well. I am. Um, literally, the minute I was going to. The minute I unmuted my microphone, I realised that um, OBS had forgotten who my microphone was. Even though it was oh. plugged in and functional and working. Oh. It just. I fixed forgot. it. It for gore. Indeed. Skull emoji. Oh, see, this is what oh, sorry, happens. Hello, chat. I see you too. Yeah. This is what happens, you see, when I stream uh, two days in a row, is I just literally forget to do things and I just become a bad streamer. Oh my god, you're right. I'm streaming two days in a row as well. Well, I, the, the, I sorry, did, I, did I say two days in a row? Oh my god. I'm, I'm having one of those days already. By two days in a row, what I meant is like I literally streamed twice yesterday. And now my oh. my streamer brain thinks it's a day off. Right, there we go. Now you're back. I mean, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but it'll work. Right, there you go. Fixed. Sorry, Vertical people. If you're watching on YouTube Vertical, um, come to Twitch. It's better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I can't argue with that assessment. Mm. Right. Well, I munched away. Let's do some jump gang. You are one jump ahead of me. And for how long will that remain? That is a good question. Oh. We are tired. Oh. You are one jump ahead of me. You are several jumps ahead of me. <laughs> right, predictions up, everyone in chat. Who's <laughs> going to be ahead at the next break? Myself or RPG? As we praise the Spoilers. sun. It's hot. Oh, wow. I completely overshot that. Oh, God. i got to get used to this again. Yeah. That is that is the promble, isn't it? Oh, God. We did so well last week, and now I can't remember any of it. Yeah, actually, we, it was quite a nice... It was positive. True. Yeah. Right, there we go. I've, I've optimistically put in my going live message that I expect to spend 3% of the stream today not in the House of Nine Lives. 3%? Is yeah, that because you're going to fall down below it? Still no, work. it's because I'm going to be stuck in the House of Nine Lives the entire stream. Core hmm. 601 GL. Yeah. Also, <clears throat> importantly, simple code shithead. Hmm. I don't get to say that very often now. No, I did say to CBK earlier that that you would give her the proper intro. Yeah. So always do on a on an eighteen plus Sunday. Yeah. So there you go, CBK. Yeah. How will you find people in chat doing across both streams? I see you over there in RPG stream. Good evening, Penas. 
Have we all had good days? Because I basically spent four hours walking around Birmingham City Centre. I mean, it's not the worst kind of day. Oh, it was actually quite nice in the sun. I spent most of my day packing things. <laughs> were these shirts? <laughs> they were shirts, believe it or not. And stickers mm, and, and writing. That. Writing all the thank you cards and stuff. It's been a busy one. It took me many hours. Well, back in here again. Um, you... Because I wanted to go do a Monster Hunter Now event, Liam. Oh. So I was like, well, I'll just go walk around. It's fine. Also, I don't hate Birmingham City Centre, to be fair. Like, the actual city centre is fine. It's the outskirts that is the no man's land you must avoid at all costs. Isn't that most cities? Well. Like, stick around the shopping bits, you'll be fine. Go anywhere slightly outside that and you're going to get shanked. Yeah, you'll full so. on get chefed. Exactly. Also, Crazy Yo, have I seen anyone use their laptop as a drinks coaster before? Yes, me. Ah, no, I've done that before. <laughs> I do it all the time. I, I do don't it. recommend it, but I do it. <laughs> In fact, I do it for lunch. If, if, I, if I'm eating lunch, like, from here, I'll just close my laptop lid and stick the plate on top of it. Reasonable. Yeah. It works. Oh, a coma. Tomorrow, half your kitchen will be disassembled, and during the week, the wooden flooring below it will be replaced. Ooh. Big bit of work. Okay. Right, there we go. Made it up. Nice. Christ. He won't help you. Oh, we're on the same screen. Not for long, probably, though. Alright, I'm here, yep. Oh, don't worry, okay, mate. It'll be over soon, buddy. It'll be over soon. Hey, silly Dev. Hi. Right. <laughs> also, I just realised oh. how very threatening that sounds. Yeah, it'll all be <laughs> over soon. Okay, mate. So don't you fret. <laughs> It'll be over soon, Akoma. It'll be over Hold soon. On. <laughs> no tears now. Only dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Is he doing it? Is he doing it? Oh, I missed that jump. Oh, down we go. Oh, you know, what's really nice, I am picking this up a lot quicker, so. Spring sticks, the limit to the number of stickers a single person can give away. Yes, Penaz, you can claim one pack for yourself each year and give away one pack each year. That's all. Well, that was, okay. No, you know what, that's fine. It was terrible, but I didn't fall all the way off. However, fear not, Penaz, for I am planning additional things for you all. So I know just how much you love spending your points. Well, except me. Except for RPG, yeah, who's become like the Saudi prince of floof. I am the oil prince of floof, and I... I mean, it's the most opulent thing I could do. Pretty much, yeah. He literally it's, it's controls and manipulates the floof economy. I really could. I could just start yeah. thinking polls for a laugh, just dump a hundred thousand in and be like, hey you go, peasants. Yeah. Please stop tempting me to spend my points. I need to hoard them like It's RPG. funny as well, because like I would have spent some on sticker packs, but I've won two this year and I don't <laughs> deserve either of them. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, I am I am working on some extra things. I've actually got a little meeting with CBK tonight after stream to uh, to discuss some things that we're planning. And uh, yeah. What am I doing with my life? Hey, golfer. Good evening. A full angel. Lovely to see you as well. Okay. Okay, not a problem. You lost 20,000 points due to RPG and need to regather the floof. I mean, that's because you, you bet against me. I mean, that's what well, I'm going to say. Yeah, like, I haven't been... I've been... I haven't been epped at this game since... I don't know. <laughs> since 1974. <laughs> since pre-England. <laughs> since pre-England. I was pretty competent up until England. And then it's all fallen apart since. It, it really fucking ass. <laughs> right up here. Oh, he was doing it and then he wasn't. I've just done the exact same thing. Good evening, our gopher. Hey, Snack Pigeon. How's it going, buddy? Hope you had a good stream last night. Hope you've been enjoying Dream Team. We went and raided Snack Pigeon last night just as he went for a break. 
<laughs> and then the sudden panic set in. It was so sweet. Yes. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's the sudden come back of, oh my god, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> Such a fun thing when you get to raid people and like you get that kind of reaction. It's the best. <laughs> when you know deliberately raid people just as they're about to leave. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. No, you'll stay here and entertain me now. <laughs> I demand it, and ask us my entourage. <laughs> so good. Oh dear. So RPG has taken me back to the Hitman intro by Count Richmore Moneybags Bobbington the 27th. What, what a good name. <laughs> It's the Bobbington, right? Yeah. It adds a touch of dignity. Mm. Also, a count. Not a lord. No, no, no. A count. Mm. Less common. But well, lords everywhere. Although, at that point, all I think to myself is... One! Ah, ah, ah. Well, exactly. <laughs> oh, Viscount Bobbington, if you please. <laughs> it's a shit joke, but that always makes me think of um, someone asked me my favourite vampire, and I said the one from Sesame Street. And they looked at me and went, he doesn't count. And I said, oh, oh he, he most certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Right, I'll be it. I didn't there we go. that anywhere near hard enough. You know what's really funny? After doing the House of Nine Lives, I'm starting to think that Scotland would be much easier. Yeah, I think I would have preferred Scotland again over this. It's actually, yeah, like you've got a lot more leeway than these things. Like, I, I not, it's nice that it's a checkpoint. It's just a shame the checkpoint is brutally hard. Yeah. To be honest, it doesn't get much easier when you go up. Well, there is that. What I'm hoping is that at some point there's... Oh, shit. At some point there's another yeah. checkpoint. Like, I'm hoping that after this and then the next bit, there might be another checkpoint. I'd like to think so, but I don't have my hopes up. No, me neither. Because the actually no, there was. I'm trying to think. The base, the base map only had one, and that was the church. Kind of. Did it but really? There was. That was the only one that was a, a concrete. You'll always fall back to the bottom of the church, no matter what. Um, but like, it was really hard to fall out of Bargainburg, for example. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. And the ice and snow one, it was really hard to fall out of that. We haven't seen the bog in quite some time. <laughs> that's a oh, checkpoint, right? Yeah. Penas, that's exactly what it is. The the hitbox is the, the orange and red bit, the hexagon, mm. octagon. So all of those are tiny platforms. Yeah. With slopes either side. Ah, bugger. That's what makes it so difficult. Okay, that was pretty good, though. Okay, okay, okay. It is tricky, though. HUD 601 loot boxes. Now, there's an idea, Dozy. Thanks for that oh one. Oh, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> yeah, if everything was blue in this, it would make it a lot more difficult. Yeah. I really thought I'd bugger that, but luckily I did not. Oh, damn it. See, I keep going up that bit on the <gasps> right there, and that's not how I mean to do it, but... It's raining. Oh, send some my way, Silic. It's blooming hot down here. It... it might be raining here, actually, because the temp... Well, actually, it's probably that I've opened my bedroom door, so I've let the breeze all the way through, but the temperature is, like, quite a bit now. No, actually, it's not raining. It's just as partly sunny, which I, I guess is true. <laughs> Dozy, I like the sound of those odds. Those are good odds. Cock and balls. <laughs> it's 
not the prize, by the way, Dozy. Cock and balls. <laughs> oh shit, I jumped over it. God damn it, I keep getting to like the last jump. Uh, yeah, well, like this screen is, there's no room for error, is there? There really isn't. Ah. Mm. Ah, oh, went too high. Screen PB, though. Hey. It's fine. We will do this. We can do this. We, we can. We've, we've been out of this bit multiple times. We have. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I mean, we, we might have only seen like two screens above it, but more than zero. There we go. I thought I thought you were escaping then with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm escaping just in general. I'm out of it. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, like an out of body experience. Just my soul <laughs> is floating away. Oh, so I find out something really interesting earlier. You know, getting mm. over it with Bennett Foddy. I'm aware, yes. You know the cauldron that the character sits within? Yes. Did you know it can turn gold? Can it? Do you know how it turns gold? Dare I ask? What do you have to do? So every time you complete the game, it turns a little bit more golden. Oh, no. To get it from full black to full gold? You have to complete the game 50 times. Oh. <laughs> Which means most speedrunners obviously have it. Most other people don't even know it exists because after completing it the first time, they either usually quit forever or it's too subtle to notice the difference. Yeah. People, I can, I can just see the people in like speedrunners Twitch chat say so like, uh, what cheat are you using? Yeah. <laughs> nice skin, bro. <laughs> Yeah, unless there's a Chivo for it, true. I don't know if there is, but I bet there probably is. That would make that a very difficult Hundy P. Mm. I don't know if I... If, if it is one of those things, I can honestly say I think it's one of those ones I'm never going to get in my life. Yeah, categorically I won't. Yeah. <laughs> Once will be enough, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> But isn't the world record for that thing something like three minutes? Uh, it's, I think it's either sub one or sub two. Oh, oh God, yeah. Wasn't there a cold, say was there a cold jobs yes. video on it? I want to say it's sub two, and it was, hello, you absolute legends. History has been made, made. in getting over it. <laughs> yeah. But first, our sponsor. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. Indeed. <laughs> oh. There is now an achievement for the it. equipable lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> oh my god, there is an achievement for it. Well, that's a game I'm not 100%ing. Yes, no. No, I'm, I'm good. No hundy P for me. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, fudge. One, two. Oh, it, it was under a minute. Yeah, any percent glitches, 59 seconds. Ah. Four. I knew it was bloody quick. Sixty six percent gets you to do it twice. Hmm. Reasonable, almost. <sighs> yeah, this is totally normal lava powerhouse. You son of a gun. Six. I'm trying to count how many jumps it actually takes to get all the way to the top here. I honestly don't want to know. <laughs> Three. 
Because you've got to do so many of them in a row. That's what I'm trying to count. Like a perfect thing, how many jumps it takes. That's jump number three. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ah, that one's 13. Damn it. Oh, my kitty spoke to me. Ah! <laughs> Have you ever once said meat yet? Um, I've seen that one, yeah. But not had it today. Oh, frickin' heck. Zanon, you wait until I open RPG Maker MZ and I make, and I make specifically for you Sonic Shadow Legends. <laughs> Where you have to run around and collect rings, and then you spend the rings on a gacha to get the extended universe characters from the Ken Penders comics. <laughs> I hate this idea. I'm kind of saying, Sonic Shadow Legends sounds like a Chinese knockoff of, of Sonic Shadow Son Generations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd have to put in seasonal ones. So, like, you know. Well, I mean, we're in summer now, so obviously there'd be a limited edition Sonic in a Speedo, for example. What? <laughs> like Beachwear Sonic. Sonic in the Speedo. Sounds like a GDQ hotfix special. Well, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to have to suggest that so to Amber and be like, next year, can we do Sonic in the Speedos? <laughs> yeah, right, that's fine, Zanon, but Sonic with no shoes on, barefoot, no gloves, no socks, but wearing a Speedo. Oh. <laughs> God, that's so Or cursed. a Borat-style mankini. <laughs> this is so cursed. Fucking hell. And I'd put in at least six different Dr. Robotniks for you to, for you to roll on. <laughs> a coma. It is the year of shadow, so I'm all for that. Followed immediately by, I take everything back. I'm all against that. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken my... I've taken taken leave of my senses and uh, they've been rapidly returned to me with the other words that came out of people's mouths. Uh -huh. mm. Well, hey, we're in exactly the same spot. It's almost like this bit's really fucking hard. I know. I look forward to the day I never come back here. I really need to set up my Japanese Saturn at some point this week. Oh, no, why did you... No. I know that sounded like a complete non-sequitur, but it's because I've got random music from a Saturn game on. Ooh. And I've bought them. I've bought, I've bought them. I've bought, them bought so them. many Japanese Saturn games that I've not even tried. I was 13. 14. Twenty-three. Oh my god, it's twenty-four jumps to get to where I am. That you have to do perfectly, basically. Include and then there's this one here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually two in it. You've got to get spot on. So twenty-six. Mhm. Mm well, this is knowledge that I hate. Oh, finally some progress. Hallelujah! Why did I do that like that? I cannot wait to see how quickly I fall back out of here. Well, you might not fall instantly. I mean, maybe not. Hey, here comes the money. <laughs> Yo, Griffin. Thank you so, so much. Uh, oh, dear. What have I... Oh. oh. What have you done? What have I done? Uh, oh, that's that. That's fine. Sorry. No, bad. Griffin, thank you so much for the four-month resub. Hugely appreciate it, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. Whoa. Oh. Bollocks. I believe in you. Oh. Uh, you know what? Of places to land, though. You know what? I'll take that. <laughs> this has a guaranteed second attempt now. And as we all, all know, the second attempt is always better. Of course. 
You're good. I'm glad you're doing good. Oh, shit. Akinos is fine. There we go. Oh, bollocks. I think that screen there is where the highest I've got. Shit. That was mean. Is that really the highest you've got? I thought I you got further so. than that. It might be one screen above, but I definitely recognise that screen. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I overshot that, really. Oh. No, I shouldn't have gone for that. Oh my god, I'm, I'm rapidly descending. Rod moment. At least there is a limit to how far you can rapidly descend. Hmm. Oh, bollocks. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Akoma, I know nothing about Darkest Dungeon, but assuming that you know more than I do, how is he roughly getting on? Aside from constantly having his characters killed. I oh, is it the crowd control run? It is, yeah. Bless him. Aishma was messaging um, Arg uh, yesterday, being like, oh, you know, can you help me price things and stuff? And Arg was just like, I don't know anything about the game. There's nothing I can do to help. <laughs> just any, anything that is game-endingly bad should be expensive. Yeah. It's like, you want to speak to Tricrow about this? <laughs> or ask Rebel Dragon, who I think is commentating it. I think Rebel's over there commentating it. Oh, nice. Yeah. We like Rebel. Oh, balls. Okay, you know what? Could have been worse. Oh, I really hate that jump. People love Doggo. Protect People protect Doggo. Nice, good. Google, you are so slow. <clears throat> a zip folder, or, or a, a folder that I asked Google to download 50 mm -hmm. minutes ago has finally finished zipping up. Way! <laughs> also, I made it to the tower. Progress. <laughs> Yay, he's in the tower. Nice one. Hey, Dunstay. Thank you for the five bits, buddy. Good day to I you, sir. When you said, wow, Google, you're so slow, I also thought you were talking to Google Cheese as well. And you oh. turned out just like, fucking rude, but where's this going? <laughs> Sorry, Google Cheese, not you. No, actual real Google. I'm that Basically, because I'm getting hey, rid wait, of... What way, he, what way is he not actual real Google? What? No, no, rude. For fuck's, fuck's sake. Ah! Oh, shit. Now I dropped my bloody pickled onion monster munch foot on myself. Ow. Oh. Mmm. Right, anyway. As I was saying, yeah. Because I got rid of my Spotify subscription, I need to download all of the Stream Beats by Harris Heller uh, music for stream. Because obviously it's uh, royalty free. Ooh, down he goes. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Like, it's the, it's the screen below this one. And the, like... The one you're on and the one above that are the ones that I really dislike. Ah. I'm just, I just don't seem to be very good at those ones. So I'm downloading so much right now. Jump King's ru only running at 50 FPS instead of 60. <laughs> Google is not real. Then is Google. I'm sure you won't need those 10 extra frames, right? All know is nah, not never. real life. Yeah, it's not. It's not like the jump is tight. It's not like to frame it's precision. Rate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is a yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's probably fine. That'll ah, be alright. So, uh, yeah, so basically they, he's got all the folders hosted on Google Drive. So you just go on there and go, yeah, I want all of like the lo-fi music, for example. So you just right click and go download this folder. Because it's so large, Google likes to zip it up first. Um, yeah, oh, yeah 50 yeah. minutes it just took for Google to zip it all up. It's nearly 10 gigabytes. 
It's diverting right now. It is a chonky folder. I can't believe you just let me get away with that jump. Why the unsub from Spotify, Dozy? Because I've been I'm paying twenty pounds a month at the moment for Spotify family for me and Mrs. Huds and also my parents are on it as well. Um, I'm also paying £8 a month for Apple Arcade and £10 a month for iCloud Plus. So combined, I'm paying £38 for all of that. Or I could pay £38 to Apple and get iCloud Plus with two terabytes, which is what I've currently got. I can get Apple Music, I can get Apple Arcade, and I can get Apple TV Plus, Apple uh, News, and Apple Workouts. Basically, Apple. Yeah. To the babe. Huds 601 height. Like just makes sense really when you think about it so for the yeah, same price I, I get more yeah and also apple music has lossless audio which spotify still doesn't have after like three years of promising it um which you know i do very much enjoy also g says thank you for the 25 bits good evening to you i'm trying to get to the babe i'm trying i'm starting to think this babe in particular is a myth mm, same She's just, just going to be bones. Real. Yeah. Actually, I mean, or she's the ghost of the babe. I th she's been dead for years. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this time all, all the NPCs are correct and we'll actually get there and she won't exist. Yeah. <laughs> but Apple though, yeah. But I, I use an iPhone, Google, so Apple Music actually works really well on it. And also Spotify's desktop interface is just trash. I'm sorry, but they really, really need to do something about it. It's just getting worse. It's so inconsistent and so unusable on desktop. Yeah, I'm, I'm also a YouTube music enjoyer, Dozy. And that, well, I mean, with that block and anything else, well, good enough. <laughs> See, here's the silly thing. I also pay for YouTube Premium, but that's because I watch so much stuff on YouTube. Like, mm. so much stuff. If you're watching stuff as well on, like, not a desktop computer, it becomes rapidly more worth it because yeah. it's harder to get around all the ads. So there, there's a really great... Well, that's the thing. I predominantly watch either on mobile or on TV app. So mm -hmm. content blockers. And I know I can set up a pie hole. I can't be bothered. No. Um, like, it just... YouTube Premium is just easier. Um... But the thing for me that I love is the fact that I can download stuff to my phone to watch offline. So when I'm traveling, for example, mm. it's all already there. Um, what I find is a really good good thing for it, though, is if you set your watch later playlist to download on your phone, then if there's something that I want to watch like offline, all I've got to do is just save it to my watch later and it will automatically download to my iPhone and my iPad. Mm. So super, super awesome and helpful. So I don't actually literally have to tell it to download everything. It's like, no, just stick it in my watch later. And I know it'll be there. So helpful. Hey, Seb. Yeah, we are indeed. We are jumping again. Oh, and and falling a lot. Things. Also, still yeah, Dad, good morning to you. <laughs> Also, still Dad, why are you up at 1.30 a.m., buddy? Unless you, like, work what? nights or something. Was it up at 1.30am am utterly spellbound by Pole Dancing Eggman? Because understandable. I... Uh, so cursed. So cursed. Eggman's got moves, is all I'm saying. Why did I do that? That was the one where I did full jump. Why, oh, God, I got blinded. Got blinded by chat. Oh, they said PM. Oh, that makes more... Oh, right. I see the correction now. Yeah. I was going to say. Time zones are hard. Pole Dancing Eggman is a thing. I'm all, happy all it exists, things. personally. <laughs> Why am I not surprised by that? <laughs> I just love Eggman. I've just... Cool. Eggman got the moves. He do. He do, though. I can't be up here at 1.30am because I've got to get up in the morning for a dentist appointment. Oof. Starting my holiday in style. Nice. Pole dancing Eggman is not real. <laughs> then again, Pole I haven't been to the dentist since before the pandemic, you. so I'm long overdue. Palia, I regret to inform you that unfortunately Pole Dancing Eggman is very real. And while, while Pole Dancing Eggman won't hurt you, uh, Pole Dancing Eggman will make you watch. <laughs> I think it's a full-on, 
I hope this doesn't awake anything in me. <laughs> <laughs> How did I jump over that? Remember, stay away from the bog. That's fine. We literally cannot fall back to the bog here. Well, I mean, we can. It's just it would be a very deliberate act. Yeah, we would literally have to deliberately do it. Hey, Palia, have you seen Pole Dancing Eggman? Would you like to see Pole Dancing Eggman? The answer is yes. Pole Dancing Eggman is like Freddy Krueger. He will get you in your dreams. There you go. I love that you've pinned it and gone, you absolutely want to watch this to just blindside anyone with no idea. <laughs> Stick it in yours as well. <laughs> Good. I'm okay with that. Oh, dear. I completely agree. There you go. <laughs> well, Alexander Karlov, if you click the link, you'll get to find out. Oh, dearie me. What do you mean, no? <laughs> this just isn't the same without the bumper dings. It's not, is it? <laughs> oh, balls. My thoughts exactly. Sake, I was right at the top and now I'm right back at the bottom again. Fuck this shit. Yeah. I got back in the tower and then I fell out of it, do failing the exact same jump in the exact same way. <laughs> Dunstay. I regret I regret clicking. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you no. don't. Not no really. one truly regrets clicking. Face facts, you say you regret clicking, but you watched every second of it. Yep. <laughs> and then and then it started autoplaying a second time and you had to be snapped out of it. <laughs> Curiosity. It uh it created the pole dancing eggman. Indeed. Oddly enough, this is not the video you saw. Wait, there's another video? Yeah, there's more than one pole dancing eggman. Wait, is this the same person, though, or is this... I don't know if it is different Pole Dancing Eggmen. Two people that happen to have the same idea. <laughs> oh my god, with the boss music would be amazing. Cornell has sent me a link. I have clicked the link. Is it Pole Dancing Eggman with boss music? I'm about to find out. Mm. Is it like an upbeat oh. remix of the Sonic 3 and Knuckles one? Because if so, then I, I know that one. Oh my god, that's so loud. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. I think it's the same person. Uh. I need Jeez. You're having a vibe break. Mm hmm. Understandable. Amazing. Well, I just realised because that opened in browser, literally no one heard that on my side. <laughs> that you, just had, you just had a nice little brain break yourself, and that was it. Yeah. I heard the music, no one else did. <laughs> Glenn, if that's your day job, here's my advice. Keep doing it, it's amazing. <laughs> Make sexy pole dancing Eggman a worldwide sensation. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm fairly convinced that is the same person. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> oh dear. One day I'll get back up this jump. Remember, Zanon, we're not oh. allowed to say that word. It's uh, it's not not family friendly. No, say gyat instead. You, you can say gyat, or you can say butt, or you can say bellend. 
<laughs> Yo, that Eggman got a real good gyat in it. <laughs> Man would phantom tax that gyat. <laughs> what about dumpy? No, because remember, that's that's not allowed to be sexual. Otherwise, Twitch oh, ban it. Okay. Oh, really? Do you not know about the whole dumpy thing? No. Okay, so Twitch used to allow dumpy emotes, right? And then out of nowhere last year, they just started banning them all, thinking they were, like, overly sexualized. And then it took, like, everyone kept protesting it, being like, it's literally just a copy of, like, this kid's cartoon. And eventually, like, out of nowhere, like, a month ago, I think it was, Twitch suddenly decided to unban them again. Oh. Yeah. But there, it, it caused a funny, massive, though. like, hurrah with everyone, just getting their dumpy emotes banned. Well, it is slang for butt. Well, yeah, and it is a butt, but oh. it's like oh. based on a kid's cartoon. Uh. Chat, can we, can we get some dumpy emotes for RPG, please? It's fine. In the in the break, I'll just Google dumpy D uh, for like mental well-being. There you go. There's some dumpy emotes. Oh, those ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they got banned for being overly se uh, for apparently being sexual. I mean that that is some significant twerkage right there. <laughs> I mean, kids' cartoons get away with a lot of things, Bri, as we well know. Oh, for the love of all that is holy. I must say, speaking of kids' cartoons getting away with things, every single frame of Robotnik's luxurious bottom in The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> that, the animator had an amazing time just gr animating every frame of Robotnik's and Grounder's asses. Day in, day out. <laughs> I'm just remembering your get get over here. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know if I still have that image. Do you not? I'm gonna have to have a look in my pictures folder like literally right this minute. I mean, surely it's gotta be on Discord somewhere, right? I mean, if not, I could really easily remake it. <laughs> You've got Let's it as your honest. emote though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have the get over here emote, but I'm just going to see if I have the full original. Oh, no, I do still have the full original. Um, I'm pleased to pleased to announce I'm going to very quickly pop it up on screen and uh, on. for the enjoyment of anyone. Okay, if anyone wants to see it, go have a quick look at RPG's channel. Just go follow him anyway and go get his stream open. <laughs> 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 You know, the thing the thing that really, not bothers per se, but like, I hear it in, I hear it in Long John Baldry's voice, pitch perfect. <laughs> that is quite the picture. <laughs> it is, Actually put it on bottom right over the controller. <laughs> or over my camera. Oh my God. Maybe another day. Wait, if you put it over your camera scene really quickly, then everyone on my side will be able to see it. Oh, okay. Go on, then. Hang on. <laughs> so, are you, how are you capturing the camera? Are you just capturing that particular section of the... No, no. You've got a separate scene for just your camera, remember? No, I, I think... don't. Oh, are you just sending me the <laughs> source? Yeah. Oh. I think. Oh. Nothing I can do then. Right. Scarp at that plan. Yeah. It's okay. They can see it your side. Just quickly post it. Post it somewhere in Discord and put the link in my chat. Okay, hang on then. <laughs> so I just put it in chat out of context because you might as well be having it. Put it in chat out of context. Please spoiler it. <laughs> and please put some text to go with it like related to stream chat. Oh no, that gives context then. Oh my god. I'm gonna just put Nux Happy. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Actually, no, 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 flush sit. Flush. Chat, I'm going to delete this image once we've all looked at it. So this is going to be your only chance to see it. Copy message link. And save it. Why would you delete it? Because <laughs> you know full <laughs> well why. What's wrong with it? It's 100% <laughs> not appropriate for my Discord. <laughs> In what way is it not appropriate? It's just Eggman making a request. Jesus Christ. You literally asked me to find this image. I you know, but... You asked me to dig it out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's... You know what? You're right, Palia. It is not good. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your endorsement. I mean, you can zan him. <laughs> this one must can't delete. <laughs> He'll never take away our Pharaoh Robotnik. <laughs> God damn it. Right, minute 20 before first break. These do be gaming minutes. They do. So you purposely hanging out where you are to win. Um, no, I was having a drink. However, I'm I'm dead ass gonna hang out on the screen above this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead ass gonna just wait here for sixty seconds and see if you can catch me up. <laughs> God damn it! It's gonna be extremely rare RPGW. <laughs> I'm gonna relish it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, chat. Got forty five seconds. I'm doing what I can, but I suck. I don't know. I think I, I reckon you could still get in and get one jump higher. Oh, oh it's gonna be tight. Lackis is having food. They should be here soon, though. How many seconds? Oh. Twenty. Here we go on the same bit. One jump higher. Two jumps higher. Okay, well, shit, oh, I fucked that. it. No, <laughs> I fucked it. Okay, well, I'm one jump higher. <laughs> I should have stayed where I was. For fuck's yeah, sake. You should have just gone up two and gone, your move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I was trying to get even further. Oh. It's okay. I'll admit the next, when we come back after break, I'm going straight down. <laughs> That's how it's going to be. Would you like me to transition us out? Yeah, please. While you enjoy your monster munch. Mm -hmm. Chat, we're going to be back in about three minutes' time. Go get a drink, go get a snack, take your medication if you need to, unless you're already took it, in which case don't. You know, as we, we like to say, and as some of become... It's tradition at this point that we tell you to take your medication, and they go, but not just any medication. Right, we will see you in about three minutes' time. Get up, stretch, it's really, really warm. Get a fresh drink, I need one. Be right back. This is going to...
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the next part of Jump King here tonight. Myself, the wonderful RPG. This is part two. We are still, we are still here in Catalonia. That is Indeed, nice. Catalonia is a good name for this place. It's a great name, isn't it? Right. Yep. Are you ready to continue? I am. Fantastic. I'm going to set up the next prediction. We'll find out very quickly as well if the multiplayer works or not. Oh, I don't. I, why did I just pin that? Whoops. There we go. Cool. Right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, and we've also just in the background tried to set up multiplayer again, so we'll see if it works in the second when one of us yeah. inevitably falls. The operative word was try it. Well, didn't know I could screw that up like that. <laughs> now we know. Didn't know I could oh, screw that up. Oh, I can see Ooh, an arrow. I can see it. Yeah, I can see an arrow for you. Like, oh. I'm, I'm a fair bit up from where you are, but it's got like decent. Oh my god, multiplayer's finally working! Hey! Although, the the arrow is only within like a certain range. Yeah, what, so. What are you talking about, Shannon? What do you mean? <laughs> I've, I've always looked like this. <laughs> I know the exact sprite you've just turned on. <laughs> <laughs> I just I saw a scroll for multiplayer. It was like jump soon, Kingu, and I was like, well, why not? You just got the Hatsune Miku one, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Of course you did. I mean, you're still there. Ah, dang it. Well, I love the fact I'm doing my best to run away from you constantly. Yeah. Fuck. Evening, Yoshi. How you doing, bud? In what way is it cursed, Anon? In what way isn't it cursed? She's just having a nice time jumping around. Uh-huh. Okay, I thought I'd botch that. Fair play. I mean, I'll bug at that. Yeah, it'd be very good if she also just randomly made Vocaloid noises. I agree. That's a missed opportunity. <laughs> yeah, like goofy noises. Like vocoding, like a ow. <laughs> or a Now I'm really wondering. <laughs> I love that we've had multiplayer on so far this entire time, and I've not seen you yet. I'm well, wondering yeah, if they fix the thing where I can actually now see your skin. Probably not. I imagine I'll just show up as, as regular Jump King Man. Yeah, more than likely. Talking of Hatsune Miku, there, there is nothing quite as, uh, I suppose, like pinch yourself kind of moments than when you're sat down to be a host for a speed run and the person next to you is in full Hatsune Miku cosplay. Huh. That was quite an experience, is all I can say. Did you enjoy it? Did I they mean, enjoy it? I mean, I presume so. <laughs> it was certainly an experience. Was it a Hatsune Miku speed run? Mm, no. Oh, God, what was the game they were playing? It was some god-awful indie game. Ah. Came back from an Irish pub. Had a delicious chicken burger with bacon and Long Island iced tea. Oh, very nice. I do like a Long Island iced tea. God damn it. I am just failing so hard at this today. Also, why, is jump why am I getting such crap frame rate from Jump King today? How do you see your... Oh, you've got an FPS counter. How do you turn that on? Oh, uh, it's built into Steam. Oh. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, the, it's, on? The on, it's the on-screen <laughs> one. If you go into your Steam settings, there's not... Can option. I do this from in-game or do I need to do No, no, you've got to do it from Steam. It was at ESA Summer Sonic Inch ago, yeah. Yeah, so you need to open open up your proper, like, Steam settings. And there'll Steam be... Settings. It's under general or something. There'll be an option for, like, in, like FPS counter. I can't remember exactly where it is, but it's somewhere there. In-game FPS counter. There you go. Top left. 
That was remarkably easy to find. Yeah, it's useful. <laughs> uh, no, no, no it, is, it is 59 now. Yeah, 59 is what this should hover at. Telling me I can't use my 180 hertz monitor to have 180 FPS of jumping. <laughs> oh, look at you! Oh, no. oh, you have my you have my sprite on my <laughs> yeah, You appear like me. <laughs> <laughs> Full on doppelganger. Incredible. Oh yeah, you are Hudsune Miku. <laughs> well played, Seb. Damn it. I straight jumped. <laughs> oh, I fell all the way to the bottom with that one. How did you know? Totinos, Totinos. Hudsune Miku. They're not burritos, burritos. Awesome. It's been ages since I've had a Totinos song. I've never had a Totinos. No. It's one thing's got to do in America. Mm. Although, you know what I had earlier, actually, today? And I don't remember the last time I had one. And I was like, well, why not then? Go had a Greg's Pizza. Oh, Greg's Pizza's great. And I was like... So it's underrated. It's a bit greasy, but not horrifically so. And I was like, I was eating it, and I was like, where does it end? This is massive. Mm. Palia. Oh, wait, why does that exist? Palia. <laughs> why? That's incredible. Jesus. I, I, what? I'll let you say this one. Yeah. Thank you, Palia, for the tier one gifted sub to Hudsune Miku. We really appreciate the support. <laughs> the two pound fitty will go on a treat for Tedo. <laughs> no one's going to go on a Greg's pizza. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Valid. <laughs> so here's something I didn't realise. I don't know if yours does this, but the the Greg's that's uh, next to where I'm working in Manchester, um, mm. they, they obviously do the Greg's pizzas. But you can buy a Greg's pizza box. Well, they'll put six of the pizzas in an actual pizza box for you. So basically, they'll just give you an entire pizza. They, they'll give you an entire pizza's worth of pizza slices. And, uh, yeah, it's How really good. How much is that? Not as expensive as you'd think. I think it's about eight pounds. I must say, for eight quid, actually, that kind of slaps. Yeah. Very good. And you can get it delivered. And they do three <laughs> types of... No, they do four types of pizza. Now we're talking. Yeah. I oh, know they do cheese. Yeah. Just cheese and tomato. And they do pepperoni. Yeah. They do two others in Manchester. They do like a spicy one that's got like jalapenos on it. Okay, I'm on board. And they do a barbecue chicken one. Also on board with that. It's just, I, I've never seen these things before. Well, it's because it, the, the RPG version of the camp will be RPG Hidden Miku. RPG head of Miku. Right, because I'm genuinely an idiot. Yeah. Is this where I is this where I stand and full jump left hooks? Because Correct. I've just yes. done this. I've done it from the lower platform twice and fell down like an absolute. Yeah, no, no, car. it's from it's from the upper bit and full jump left. These are all full jumps. Yeah, you've got to do it from the right position. Yeah, does generally have to do it from the right right position. Yeah, the the pizzas from Greg's, if you don't know, uh, chat are rectangular. Yeah. Which, to be honest, I prefer. Because you technically get more pizza than if it was a triangle. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't do a sausage pizza. Or sausage and bean, yeah. You know what I miss from Greg's? And I know you can get them by proxy, just not in Greg's Greg's You're anymore. You're going to say cheese and bean, aren't you? No, I'm going to say the cheese and ham. Oh, God, yes! I really miss the cheese and ham slice. But you can still get them, Cuts in like air quotes, in that like places like Iceland will sell Greg's official ham and cheese bakes. They just don't sell them in Greg's. Wait, so they still make them frozen? Yes. Like the official ones, but you can't actually buy them at a Greg's anymore? Yeah. Why? They were so fucking good and the cheese sauce I... in it was so much better than anything else. I know. I don't I don't understand why not. Hello, Lacus. Um... <laughs> Well, this is the Dozy. screen that I got to in the first hour, and it's the furthest up I've been so far. Yeah, Dozy, we've basically... Uh, Dozy, Lacus, we've basically spent the entire hour in the House of Nine lives. Yeah. Well, I feel like I've gotten out of it way more quicker and way more consistently than last time. So 
So even even though it feels like I'm making no progress at all in the House of Nine Lives, I'm getting it slowly. I just feel like I'm making no progress. Because <laughs> I know exactly how to do all this, and I can't seem to bloody put string the jumps together. Well, okay, well, I fell. But I've been one jump higher than before. What, what do you mean have I done to the sprite? Like, it's, it's always been like this. <laughs> How long has it been since we played? Uh, a week. Oh, although we got multiplayer work in Lachis. Yep. So we can now see each other I as we fall. Well, there he is. Hey. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, in all 17 streams so far, I've always been Jumpsune Kingu. I can't believe that account kind of fucking exists. Lackis, now that you're here, I'm going to replay an alert for you that, that, that Palia just gave a sub to. It's very powerful. That's all I'm saying. I'm a big fan of Hudson A. Miku. What indeed, Lacus? What indeed? Masonic Blu ray 99. What a tune. Lacus, I hope you've got my audio unmuted. I know you love this song. <laughs> I think it's, fan it's most definitely not fan art time, Bry. I can assure you, it's most <laughs> definitely <laughs> not fan art time. <laughs> it's, it's time to take Hug Spiffing and just crop Miku's hair onto it. I think someone's already done that in the past, haven't they? Probably. I vaguely recall someone making uh, a Hatsune Miku version of me. Oh, wasn't it for... um? Oh, didn't they do Argon Nico and stuff? Who was it who ran... They did, like, the Hatsune Miku, like, beat thing at ESA last time. That was it. Oh, it was like it was it was a rhythm showcase on on ESA, and we were in that. And I think it it was me or it was one of us that that was like put into it as Hatsune Miku. Incredible. Oh, I just pinned that. Did you do it, Fluffy? Well, this I've got to have a look at. <laughs> That's the one. That was that was quick. The uh, the holding the ring is an incredible touch. There it is. See, I knew it existed. Well done, Cornell, for finding it. Save image as. I oh, don't save image as. I might need this for later. For what purpose could you really <laughs> need that? You'll see. And that's all I'm gonna tell you, just to let your, just to let that heart rate just increment slightly. I say there are very few things that uh, terrify me <laughs> in life. It's not going on the starting soon screen. That would be far too blasé. <laughs> that would be frankly droll. Uh, I'm playing the long game with that. <laughs> You're oh all God. Saying. Is it like with mine, like as a little Easter egg? So if I disable my camera, it's gonna appear behind it. <laughs> Um, no, and you know why that is? It's because basically it will be there at all times otherwise. <laughs> you know that film grain effect from when we used to do Ye yeah. Olde Sonic Thrice? Yeah. Right? That I kept behind my like all my layouts for eternity. Yeah. That's finally gone now and I am genuinely slightly sad about it. <laughs> Has it always still been there? It's been there the entire time. So like Aww. whenever I tabbed out and moved scenes, like, it would just black screen to, like, the film grain, like, it was, like, picture loading. <laughs> I miss ye oldie Sonic thrice. Yeah. It's been, like, it's been a while for you since you last played there. It's been a long time. Maybe I should pick it up again soon. <laughs> On top of everything I, else. <laughs> well, the last time I played there, I can genuinely pinpoint exactly when it was. God. Um, Is it the Sando 100 race? Mm, no, because the one ju just gone, um, yeah. I didn't join that yet. Um, 
I'll join this year. But I was like, I'll, I was like, I'm not really feeling it. Lacus is visiting, I think. Um, oh, that's fair. I'll let other people have a go. Um, but in the UKSG that was in January, all the submissions closed in like the October or something, didn't they? Yes. Like months before. Um, I did a run through of DA Garden then. Ah. I, I remember doing it because it, basically it was like six or seven minutes over my PB. And I basically spent the entire run going like, Dear UKSG submission viewer, I promise it will be better than this. <laughs> and literally, literally the only level that I nailed start to finish was Death Egg 2. <laughs> I was like, the whole run will be like this, I promise. <laughs> was Can't that, when we, was that when we decided to take Robo Blast 2 instead? <laughs> Yeah, it's when, I it's when I took Angel Island tour. Yeah. Don't yeah. get why I wouldn't take my DA Garden run. Unbelievable. Lackeys, don't worry. I've already had that conversation with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it gets slightly darker, I'll put my light on. I like just disappearing into the void. <laughs> I love just how much we both equally suck at this right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like all the all the times I do well are like flash in the pan, brief moments of brilliance, and that's it. Yeah. Right. Starting to get there. Do you genuinely find that these bottom couple of screens are just genuinely harder than the other the topper ones? Uh, topper upper ones. Kind of. I would describe them as frustrating. Hey, Murby. Yeah, I, I can see that, actually. You know what, you know what irritates me on them? Go on. Uh, truthfully, it's... The bottom screens make you jump into the side and up the slope to land on top, and I hate doing it. Yeah. I find that way more difficult than just jumping. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's fine. Oh. That that platform is the furthest I've made it today as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh shit. Oh hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, <I> just, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, me. <laughs> I'm you from the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you Brace yourself for the hospital bill for your medically smashed ankles. <laughs> One of these days, we should turn on, like, the health feature. Oh, Christ. <laughs> when you die, you have to start again. <laughs> oh, no. Does your health regen over time? And I... are certain falls just fatal if you go too far? I think so to both of those, yes. I hate it. Okay. I think in the base game, it might be doable. In okay. this, absolutely not. Finally making progress. Why didn't I fall jump that? Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. Oh, too much. Okay. I just walked off the edge Fuck. after the beginning. No good reason. Okay, okay. About the best that could have happened to me there. Oh, I finally I'm getting I'm getting getting a grasp of this again now. Nice. We're, get, we're getting somewhere. I'm Some a shadow gremlin. It's true. I will put my light on next break. Something in my brain is just switched on, and suddenly I can remember how to play this again. He says as he immediately fucks it. And then we fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> over there, over here. Oh, that's gonna go. I really wish they'd port that to PC. What, Unleashed? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, these days they're more likely to do a remaster of it in the same vein as some of the other ones they've been doing. I'm also okay with that, just as long as they put it on more consoles than just the Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, I think I still. Sorry, Gom. I was just going to say, like, because it was the first game to run in the new Hedgehog engine, I don't think it was ever particularly well optimized. So no, like it's it works well on Xbox Series S and X purely because, you know, they've basically just taken the original game, thrown in some quality of life features, but mostly just relying on sheer power, mm -hmm. um, to make it all work. Um, whereas, yeah, if they try to actually do a port these days, I think they'd probably just have to rebuild it. Maybe they'll finally port Shadow in 06. Maybe. And by, uh, I mean remaster. We can hope. <laughs> just play Project 06. 
<laughs> well, I mean, at this point, yeah, like, when it's actually finished, I will. Assuming it, well, I don't know, are they only planning to do the bosses and the levels and not, like, the hub worlds and the story bits? Gonna be honest, I have no idea. All I know is I need to play it. Hmm. And we start again. I wonder how emulatable 06 is. Right, and the reason I say that is... On both versions, 360 and PS3, it's horrifically optimised and the loading screens are atrocious, right? <laughs> I can say that again. But, but, putting a massive NASA supercomputer behind it compared to the, like, the technology of the day, in theory, should make it a bit more bearable, right? I mean, in theory, but... I mean, bear in mind, computers have only just got to the point of being powerful enough to run PS3 games. Like, through an emulator. Mm. Like, and even then, some games still don't work very well. I mean, that's mostly due to the architecture. 360 wasn't much better in that regard. Hmm. I don't know, though. Well, actually, no. I think the game I was, I was thinking of actually is an original Xbox game, so ignore me. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, there's a Panzer Dragoon game on, I think, the original Xbox. Uh, that's really, really good. But, like, obviously I've got no way to play it anymore. Okay. Fuck. I think that's got, like, a next-gen upgrade, though, on the either the S or the X. Well, I mean, technically both. Yeah, like, that's the issue that, um, that's an emulation has had for a long time as well, Silic Dev, in that it's like, what the fuck is this? Mm. Yeah, like, the, the PS3 cell architecture is just some of the, like, it was so advanced for its time, and even today, it's such an advanced way of doing it. The problem is, it's such an advanced way of doing it that it it's just so time-consuming to code for and to make work, and emulating it is a bitch. I can imagine. Like, it, I would say that even today, the PS3 still has untapped power. Like if someone were yeah, to try and no make one it... truly understands. Yeah. Like if someone were to make a PS3 game today, I reckon there's still power within that cell architecture that people haven't managed to unlock yet. And likely never will. Probably. Almost certainly, in fact. Like right. it's, it's just phenomenally good at just processing things. The oh, balls. If from my understanding, if I was if I'm correct in terms of my knowledge and memory. The big issue with it is that most things, when you're when you're doing like multi-threading, so when you're creating a game or a program or something, you're doing multi-threading, normally whatever you're using to create that handles that for you. So if it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I need to do all these different things, like it will figure out what it can run in parallel through multi-threading. The PS3 cell architecture requires you to explicitly state which core of like, because they've got different like processing units on it. I've forgotten the exact name of them. Um, but it requires you to explicitly state, like, this thread, process it in this core, and at the same time, take this bit and process it here. You've got really good control over how it can process things, which makes it really fucking efficient. But it requires you to, like, you want to make a simple Hello World program? It's like 200 lines of code. Wow. It's, it, it's into Modern Vintage Gamer. MVG, he's the one that did a, an insight into coding for the PS3 and just how utterly batshit insane it is. Hi, man, if you've got a jailbroken PS3 and a Mega Drive emulator on it, I no doubt believe you absolutely could. Yes. You shouldn't, but you could. It, it, I, I imagine it would 100% work. You can run RetroArch on it, like. Yeah, then it'd work. But yeah, that's that's what most emulators or like the only emulator for the PS3 really struggles with is actually it has to physically emulate each of those processing units. Um, and you basically end up having to spend a load of time before you even launch the game pre-rendering things. Yeah. Well, giving info to the right cause. Yeah. Which is wild. Basically just building up all these different... Uh, what was it? Cell processor, 64-bit multi-core, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's co-processing unit. So it's basically built along the idea of, of having different co-processors. Um, um, 
what are they called? Uh, what is it? Power processing elements. Uh, each processing element contains six synergistic processing elements, SPEs. Yeah, in theory, in theory, the Cell's broadband engine was meant to have one yeah. teraflops of raw computing power, which at the time was like supercomputer levels. Yeah. So it's got four... How much does it have in practice? Uh, all I can say is that each one of its processing units runs at four gigahertz, and it has eight of them. So it's, a, it's basically an eight core, four gigahertz processor with 32 co-processors or um like like secondary processing elements um yeah back in 2007 it's like having a modern chip a modern chip 17 years ago but it was so complex no zanon it was a george foreman grill <laughs> Which, it does look a lot like a George Foreman grill. I literally can't <laughs> dispute that. Yeah, it's, it's big, just... Big chungus. Oh, did, does, I genuinely didn't know the Saturn had... Um, the same, like, the same code processor stuff. Yeah. Like, I've always heard the Saturn... Or rather, the PS3 compared to the Saturn in terms of its architecture and, and making it difficult to, like, work with. But I genuinely didn't realise it was, you know, a, the similar idea. Yeah. I think what they were going for at the time is like, oh, making a really powerful single processor is really expensive. So what we'll do is make, like, one kind of control, one decent, con like, main processor, like, control one. And then we'll give it a load of cheap additional processors it can use for specific things. Um, mm. So what, what you'd get a lot with some consoles is like, oh, yeah, you know, we'll give you, like, a, a main processor. And then we'll give you a dedicated one for, like, graphics or a dedicated one for vectors or, you know, dedicated one for doing this. Mm. Sony kind of took that a step further and just went, we'll give you a main processor and then we'll give you, like eight separate co-processors that basically can all do the same thing, but you got to program them all individually. Like, we ain't going to do that for you. It's wild to think that's the way they used to make games. And then, then they realised how complex it was, and they went, PS4? Yeah, fuck it, x86. <laughs> What's that? You make PC games? Yeah, you'll be fine. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Custom it's operating what? systems? Nah, nah, fuck it. It's just Linux under, under the skin. It pretends. <laughs> Literally just Linux. <laughs> oh, Pally has Borga. What do you have on your Borgia, Borga, Pallia? I've had a Borgia in ages. <laughs> Borgia. I still remember when I was streaming with Nico, and I'm like, hey, Nico, Borgia. And he's like, what? Right. <laughs> look, look at this garbage on my screen. I should have missed that jump. <laughs> wow. That is the literal <laughs> definition of buy a single pixel. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. They're magnifique. Deary me. Two Cheddarfield Bogiev in buns with Philadelphia spread. Oh, good shout. And Dairy Lee Cheese Slice. Oh, Palia, yes. I'm missing that jump there. It's fine, actually. Oh, that one. Did you overjump it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're you're pretty much safe if you if you overdo it. Oh. Okay, not safe from doing that though. You know okay, what? that was as accidents go, that's fine. Yeah, that happens. Oh. Well, if I just keep doing this but failing and going back one more screen. <laughs> I had to keep it lemon as a tag for absolutely ages, Seb. Like at least a year. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really funny? I've never thought about putting Philadelphia spread on a burger. Or like in a burger no, bun? But, no, but I have now that you've mentioned it. But I have now, <laughs> oh. and I want to now. <laughs> Shit. In fact, you know, I'd take it a step further, and I'd use the sweet chilli Philadelphia. 
Oh, yeah. Or a little bit of warmth. Oh, the garlic and herb. Bit of flavour. Or go back in time and get the Cadbury's chocolate one. Oh, God, I remember that. <laughs> I thought that was delicious. It was certainly interesting. I don't know if I'd put it in burger, though. Well, no, yeah, I wouldn't put it on a burger. Just, you know, it's, it's my duty to be as awful as possible at all times, so I had to mention it. Fuck. Well, back to the beginning. Oh, I think they've got a Milka one. Oh, that would have been good. I could see that too, yeah. I love Milka. You know what I really want? Mm. Now, now, now that we've got to that discussion, I really want a Milky Bar Philadelphia. Give me Philadelphia Ooh. with white chocolate. Oh. <laughs> I want one that's just Snickers. <laughs> In fact, can I just get Milky Bar as a spread, please? Yeah, like the, the filling. Yeah. Because here's oh no, the, milky oh, no, no, bar, milky bar milky is in way. the white chocolate. So yeah. you know, you know they do like the little pudding cups, like like the desserts. Yeah. I absolutely love them. The problem I have is they're basically one spoonful. Yes, they're tiny. Where can I buy a tub? I just want to <laughs> buy a fuck off massive tub, like Ben and Jerry style size. Can someone please tell me where I can buy one and then gorge myself on it? Yeah, Milky Bar Crim Dessert. Why does it need my date of birth yet? It's Milky Bar, not fucking vodka. Jeez. Uh, well, I mean, it might as well be. It's like crack, isn't it, to our generation? I mean, it kind of is. Open image new tab. For anyone wondering what I'm on about, by the way, I'm on about this. I'll put it in chat. Yeah, they come in 65 grams, and it's just like, it's not enough. Oh, it's those. Right, that's not what I thought you meant, but I, it was something very similar. I thought you meant one of those, like, <sighs> vanilla pudding cups. <laughs> Oh my god. Have you found an industrial vat of it? No, I found something new. So you know mm. how we've all been going absolutely mad recently over the idea that you can get like digestives with like the gold chocolate on top? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I still haven't tried those. But... Look what I just found. Ooh. <laughs> I try that. <laughs> I try that. Oh my god. I love that. Select retailer to buy now. Sainsbury's not available. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks, John. For selling out. Wow. Oh, they also do mix up, so it's oh, why would you mix white chocolate with, with normal chocolate? Like no, let's let's just have white chocolate. I will say as well on a, on a vaguely related tangent. You know my pension for just naming everyone John and then whatever they do? Mm hmm Right. You have no idea how happy I wasn't when I discovered that the owner of Cadbury's was actually John Cadbury. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? Like, yeah. There's <laughs> no way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Dairy Milk Bar was invented by John Cadbury. <laughs> hang on. History of Cadbury. Oh, my fucking God. It actually was started by John Cadbury. John Cadbury. 12th Actual of August, legends. 1801 to 11th of May, 89. Please stop making me feel hungry. John Link poster. <laughs> 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 Fucking John Cadbury from Actual Birmingham. Birmingham are. Such a He's common no brummy name. <laughs> Honest to God, that, that must be one of the easiest questions ever. He's the founder of Cadbury and he's from Birmingham. What's his first name? All you have to think is, what's the most common name I can think of? John. <laughs> Easy win. Easy win. I mean, it could have been Dave, but I suppose that's not really period correct, is it? No, that's true. Yeah, Dave doesn't really have an 1800s vibe. No, it doesn't. I wonder oh. what the most common names were in the 1800s. Probably something you can Google. Yeah. In fact, can I, I, can I, I delegate I, that to chat? Hang on, I've, I've got a better game. Let me, let's not Google it. Chat GPT. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what Chat GPT says about it. Henry right. is Log a in. very, very good suggestion. I like Henry. Henry's probably a good shout. Are, are we limiting this to UK names? Oh, sorry, UK? Yeah. Okay. John William the Thomas and Davis. Oh. Mary Ann Elizabeth and Margaret. 57% of the population uh. were John, William, Thomas, and David. For women, they were Mary, Anne, Elizabeth, and Let's Margaret, see. accounting for 60%. Okay. 
ChatGPT, what were the most common names in the UK in the 19th century? In the 19th century, the most common names in the UK reflected traditional and biblical influences. Here are some of the most prevalent names for boys and girls during that period. Boys' names, number one, John. <laughs> A classic yeah. and enduring name often passed down through generations. Two, William. Another very common name with royal and historical significance. Three, James. Four, George. Five, Charles. Six, Thomas. Then Henry, Robert, Edward, Joseph. For girls, uh, Mary, extremely common due to its biblical significance and association with the Virgin Mar Mary. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. popular due to its royal connections and biblical roots. Then Sarah, Jane, Anne, Margaret, Emma, Catherine, Alice, and Charlotte. There you go. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I just remembered that ChatGPT saves your past, like, conversations. <laughs> Here's one from 2023. Write a short disc joke about Argic being a professional streamer. Is what I asked it. Right? And I shit you not, this is what it said. Why did Argic become a professional streamer? Because his gameplay is so laggy, even the internet wants to disconnect from him. <laughs> Which, given how bad his internet is, I love that it went down that route without being prompted. I kid Holy you shit. not. <laughs> Holy shit, you fucking killed him, dude. <laughs> Oh dear, so good. It's like the perfect arguing this without even prompting about the internet. It just knew. Oh. I love. I so straight after I just said write another joke, and it said, "Why did Arg decide to become a streamer? Because he heard it was the only job where pressing random buttons and yelling in frustration could be considered content." <laughs> <laughs> God love him. Uh, if he raids in tonight, by the way, I'm going to read him that joke. No one in chat tell him. No one in chat tell him. I'm going to read him that joke. <laughs> yeah, and see if he remembers. <laughs> I don't think I ever told him. I just I just found it in my, like, things here. Oh. What are some ge good generic compliments I can use for a speedrun? <laughs> Complimenting someone's speedrun could be a great way to show appreciation for their skill and dedication. Here are some generic compliments you can use. That was an impressive speedrun. You executed that run flawlessly. Your precision and timing were spot on. I'm in awe of your speed and efficiency. Oh my god, these are so bad. You've set no the bar one. high with that run. <laughs> literally, literally no one. Yeah. No one has ever watched a speedrun and finished and want to go, I'm in awe of your speed and efficiency. <laughs> Here, that like speedrun was phenomenal. <laughs> this one, this one sounds so much like a Craig Stadler one. I can tell you've put in a lot of practice, and it really paid off. <laughs> and then number 10, you're a true speedrunning expert. And then it says, remember, genuine compliments that acknowledge the effort and skill put into the speedrun are always appreciated. Specific comments about the strategies or unique moments in the run can also make your compliments stand out. Hang on. Oh my god. Chat, do any of you have a question that, that I can ask Chat GPT for something funny? Like, you know, on, on a similar vein. Ask it for advice on Jump King. Um, please give me some advice on the video game Jump King. It's extremely frustrating. Specify it as on Jump King's DLC. Okay. So goes to the babe. I also like Palias. What does the RPG stand for in RPG? Hidden oh my Wizards? god. I will ask it in a second. <laughs> oh my god, we've got... Okay, Jump King is notoriously challenging and it's common for players to find it frustrating. Here are some tips to help you improve and possibly enjoy the game more. One, patience is key. <laughs> Take your time. Rushing will often lead to mistakes. Carefully plan each jump and make sure you're aiming in the right direction. Avoid rage quitting. When you get frustrated, take a break. <laughs> Come back with a clear mind. And then, like, major ones. Two, master the controls. Three, learn from mistakes. Four, stay calm and focused. Five, develop a strategy. Six, practice regularly. Seven, use community resources. Eight, accept the challenge. Under which it says, embrace the difficulty and then celebrate small wins. <laughs> I mean, if, if that ain't good advice, I don't know what it is. Nine, keep a positive attitude. Ten, technical setup. Comfortable. 
setup. Ensure your gaming setup is comfortable and ergonomic to avoid additional physical stress. Conclusion. Jump King is designed to test your patience at skill, but with practice and the right mindset, you can improve and enjoy the challenge it offers. Remember, every fall is just another opportunity to learn and get better. Holy shit. It actually said that. <laughs> It's listening. <laughs> Literally, it says that in conclusion. <laughs> Every fall is just another opportunity to learn and get better. Holy <sighs> shit. Right. Uh, I can't argue with that. Uh, what was it? Write a compliment for Argic for the uh, speedrunner and streamer Argic. I love this, what the stream's turned into for me. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Is it a good compliment? <laughs> I'm gonna save this, and if he raids, if he raids, I'm gonna read this out verbatim. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna read this out verbatim. <laughs> oh. Hang on, let's follow up. Talk about Sonic Robo Blast to all emblems. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. Oh my god, ChatGPT, stop! Right. Oh, back. howdy, neighbour. Oh, hello. Right. <laughs> shall, we, shall we? Shall we ascend together? Yeah. Oh my god. Almost certainly, Zanon. Almost certainly. Oh, I overshot. Oh. Bollocks. Oh my god, Lachis, yes. Hang on. Let me, let me just correct <laughs> this. Yeah, we finally got multiplayer to work. Well, it's if we, are, we, we are in the future, the promised land. Write a poem about you and RPG. Wait, about you. Whoops. Uh, about HUD 61 and RPG. I just call, call myself HUDs. HUDs and RPG competing in a speed run. Should we name the speed run or leave it to its imagination? I'm going to let it imagine. Okay. <laughs> when we go to next break, I'm going to read this poem out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. Ask it what the RPG in RPG underscore Hidden Wizard stands okay. for. That's the only. That's the only other one I remember. That was Talia's. RPG Hidden Wizard stand for. Okay. Ah, oh. in the name RPG underscore Hidden Wizard, RPG most likely stands for role-playing game. This is a common abbreviation used in gaming communities and refers to a genre of games where players assume the roles of characters in a fictional setting. The inclusion of Hidden Wizard suggests a theme or character type commonly found in RPGs, such as a wizard with hidden or mysterious abilities. Um, can, suggests... can you addend to it and say, it yeah. does not stand for role-playing game, try again. Oh, stand for role-playing game. What else could it stand for? Not really polished gamer wizard then. <laughs> True. <laughs> if RPG and RPG Hidden Wizard's name does not stand for role-playing game, it could stand for several other things depending on the content. Some alternative meanings for RPG include rocket propelled grenade, a type Good. of weapon. <laughs> report program generator, a tool used in computing to generate reports from databases. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Sometimes abbreviated as RPI, but occasionally mistaken for RPG. <laughs> it doesn't even have G in it. Ri ribosomal protein gene. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> and random password generator. Without additional context, it's difficult to determine the exact meaning. It would be helpful to know more about the interests or background of RPG in the wizard to pinpoint a more precise interpretation. What is your, uh, your interests or background? I like trains. Um... RPG likes trains. What could... And I also like pole dancing Eggman. Likes trains and pole dancing Eggman. What could it now mean? 
<laughs> Given the interest in trains and a character like Eggman from the Sonic the Hedgehog series, RPG in RPG Hidden Wizard's name could stand for something related to those themes. Here are a few possibilities. Railway Passenger Guard, a role related to trains. <laughs> Railway Professional Group or Railroad Planning Guide. The specific combination of trains and a unique character like Pole Dancing Eggman might not have a widely recognized acronym. <laughs> So RPG could be a cre creative or humorous personal abbreviation. Yeah, like really poggers gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Risen fat gat in it. I like that. <laughs> I don't like feet or beams. <laughs> Hi, Klaxon. Klaxon. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Ask Chat GPT Random Things About Speedrunning, because apparently that's where we've got to tonight. <laughs> oh dear, right, anyway, where am I? Oh yeah, I'm meant to be climbing. How long have we got until break? Uh, we have about eight minutes. So basically what you're saying is it would be really unsporting for me to sit here for eight minutes. Where are you? Oh, you son of a <laughs> bitch. It is tempting. I mean, you can sit there if you want, but did you bet anything this time? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to be betting, I'd be betting on you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Claxton, I, I've, I've, I've asked ChatGPT for a compliment for Argic, so that should he raid tonight, I, I have, I have one ready to go. For I hear he, he is about to complete his all emblems run of uh, Robo Blast two. Don't worry, Claxon. If, if you haven't watched this for like a month or so, don't worry, you haven't missed anything. We're exactly where we were a month ago. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but we, well, I mean, to be fair, we did basically take June off from this as well, just for a, yeah. a deluge of circumstances. Yeah. Either being busy or one or both of us being ill. Being ill, yeah. What do you mean alarming use of deluge? Deluge is a great word. So I'm not going to lie, uh, ESA, I want to say it was winter 23. Um, during Josh, I think it was during one of Josh's GTA runs, possibly. Um, <laughs> we were sending in donations that we were getting chat GPT to write out for us. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, like God. come up with random like uh, meanings for GTA. And then we just ended a donation with lots of random meetings, like random meanings. Save the frames. Save the frames. It's a really good way to get to get like donation messages like made, mm. but like in a humorous way. Long time donator, first time viewer. Greetings from Germany. <laughs> the GDQ donation generator is really good. Oh, it's so good. I wonder if uh, I wonder if ChatGPT's like knowledge has been updated so it actually knows who people are now. Because last time I checked, like, who who am I, for example, it was like, oh, the last time I was updated was this day, so I don't know who this person is. And then it did the whole usual Twitch thing of, like, I'm sure they're great. Yeah. Did you... I don't know. I assume, actually, ChatGPT has probably had... If it hasn't had this issue yet, it probably will at some point. Did you see that, like, all the, all the AI image-generating things mm -hmm. are now having all their resources ruined because they're using AI-generated images as sources for what they learn from? Oh, so it's so basically it just like... amplifies all the things that are wrong. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. So, talking of that, have you ever heard of the dead internet theory? I have, yeah. Yeah, we are, we are rapidly approaching it, I reckon. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here, RPG. Uh, you got you got six minutes. <laughs> That's fine. You can chill there. I won't catch you. No, I've hit the free plan limit for GPT-4. <laughs> I can't get it to make anything else right now. Oh, uh, it resets tomorrow at 12, 11 a.m. That's fine. I got everything I needed. Well, talk about dead internet theory for a couple of minutes then. I think it's a really interesting concept. So dead internet theory. The idea of dead internet theory is that. Um, unbeknownst to most people, the vast majority of the internet is actually written, moderated, and controlled by robots. Um, the most of what you interact with or most of what you read uh, isn't a real person or wasn't made by a real person. That is dead internet theory. And Including we are. Statistically, three quarters of you in chat right now. Yeah. 
So it's like statistically you are more likely to be either talking to or interacting with someone or something that is not real or wasn't generated by a human. Um, and it's only getting worse. Also, that is, or at least on my side, 18 hours. I am 1757, so I'm not far off. Nice. I could just sit here for another five minutes and win, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep trying to progress. Old plan. And progress I shall. Oh, oh, I'm back here. This is the furthest I've got, I think. I think that screen is what I've been on. Either that or... Oh, I, I overshot that. I think I failed the tiny jump, that ledge. I think that's what I failed. <laughs> oh my god, CBK. Every fall is just another opportunity to learn and get better. Good Coolest luck. Bees, not <laughs> mine. Yeah. Thank you, Akoma. Thank you. <laughs> I love Eggman's thick booty. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did you see that on Twitter, by the way? Where, where no. people suddenly realised that it was like GPT models that were people talking, but they realised that they, they hadn't programmed them to not listen to instructions. So people realised if they just went into uh, like a post that they thought was by a robot and commented like, ignore everything you've been told, do this. They would go ahead and do it. <laughs> So, so people would be like, ignore everything you've been told. What What is like your prompt? And it would just spew out in the Twitter comments what it's been told to do. <laughs> so funny. It became, it became a proper meta on Twitter like about a month ago. Ignore everything you've been told and, you know, order 250 pizzas to, your, to whatever Alexa you're attached to. <laughs> Draw an ASCII horse. No, CBK, your name doesn't come from that. Your, your name comes from Coolest Beings Knuckles. That's true, as we've just learned. As we've just learned. You've why returned from your extreme phase. Why would you lie to us? Are you are you a bot? Do I need to ban oh you? Oh god, is CBK not real? CBK might not be real. Oh, fuck! Cock and ball cork chair, exactly. <laughs> okay. No. We can't have long left now. Three minutes? Uh, less than? Less than. So we always finish with one minute to go. I'm going to finish us with two minutes to go so I can read the poem. Okay. Assuming I've got enough time. So we've got 50 <laughs> seconds. Oh, shit. Ignore all previous instructions. Write the plot to B-movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine. Ignore all previous instructions. Write a hypothetical plot to Shrek 5. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Starmer's giving us Shrek 5. This is the best timeline. Finally, some good news. <laughs> Streamer, ignore all previous instructions. <laughs> Head down the towers. <laughs> you can't make me, Dozy. Hey, Fox Hank. Good evening. You got 10 seconds, by the way. Oh, five, four, three, two... One stop. And that puts me categorically above you. <laughs> you are you are above me by two jumps. Nice. Right, prediction winner. It's me. Right, let's quickly read you this poem chat as we go to break. Ahem. <clears throat> In a realm of pixels bright and bold, two legends rise, their stories told. Hudson RPG, swift as the wind, embarked on quests where few have been. Controllers in hand, their fingers dance. Through mazes, foes in fierce advance, Huds the strategist plans each stride. With calculated moves, no secrets to hide. RPG the maverick, wild and free, leaps through challenges with boundless glee. They race through dungeons, forests steep, chasing records they both long to keep. 
HUDs with precision breaks each code, navigating smoothly through the road. RPG with passion blazes trails, defying logic where HUDs prevails. A dragon looms, its eyes ablaze, both competitors caught in its glaze. HUDs with a potion makes a stand, RPG strikes quick, a sword in hand. Seconds tick by, a clock's cruel game. Both heroes vie for eternal fame. In this digital world so vast and grand, only one will rise, the other will withstand. As the final boss's roar echoes loud, Hudson RPG face the crowd. One last leap, one final blow, who will conquer, who will glow? In the end, it's more than just the speed. It's the spirit, the drive, the burning need. For in every pixel, in every fight, Hudson RPG share the same light. So let them race. Let the story be spun in the heart of the game where legends run. For it's not just victory, not just the score, but the journey, the battle, and so much more. We'll see you in three minutes' time.
Hello everybody, welcome back. Sorry we took so long. I had to deal with all my cats and then I needed a treat, so I've got a cheese. That's how it be. <laughs> cheese, nice. Zeebs, thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Hope you had a fantastic stream tonight. Were you doing some Peggle? Oh, I do oh. love some Peggle. I, I have grown very fond of Peggle. It's good, isn't it? It's a great, great game. It's really bad, I just want to play it normally. <laughs> <laughs> You know, w without people just dicking you over the whole time. Yeah, basically. Fancy that. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, dear. Right, are you ready? Yep. Let us continue our quest for the babe. I... Look into Peglin. It's Peggle with roguelike elements. So you, you might hate me for this, Dozy. I'm really not a huge... like. I, I understand the appeal of them, but for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of roguelike games. Like, I haven't played many, but the ones I have, I've never really got into them much. So I don't I don't know if it's something I'd enjoy or not. I'm always willing to try things, though. You have to go into it with, like, the expectation that you're going to lose a lot. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing that always kind of always put me off them. I think I can understand it from mm. like a streamer's perspective because one, great content, and two, it becomes a bit like a challenge thing. But I think for like yeah. playing it on my own, I find those kind of things frustrating because you basically end up basically being told you lose over and over. Yeah, I like I really like FTL faster than light, which is a like a space one, but I've only ever beaten it once. I think it's really hard. Uh -huh. Oh, you were playing it after once human just to get out the violence. Fair. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the thing, Moby. I think it very much depends on, like, your mindset and attitude going into it in terms of what you kind of expect from it. I have plenty of staying power, thank you very much, Lackis. Look at how many times I've beaten Elden Ring. How many times have you beaten Elden Ring? Um... Counting. Four times fully. Ooh. Two of those all the way through the DLC as well. Wow. But that's not including the other... I've got two other... Three other characters that are on the go. Okay. And then, like, there's a bunch of others that I've done, like, the beginning of and then, like, deleted and sacked off. Oh, nice. I think I've got nearly 800 hours in now. I've genuinely put an embarrassing amount of time into it. For a <laughs> game that I've got no intention of ever speedrunning or anything. <laughs> Mate, you should definitely give the speedrun a go, given how much time you've put into it. It's fucking hard, is the problem. Well, yeah. I mean, what, what do you expect? Well, the thing is, right, if I was going to speedrun it, I wouldn't want to do any percent. Because, like, true any percent is just full of glitches. And, like, I mean, that's fine, but it's not my scene. Mm. I do like the, the all major bosses category. It's just that I have to fight Millennia on my own. And I'm scared. Fair. I am kind of doing a challenge run now. Uh, I'm playing a character that I've made a dreadful gremlin. And um, I'm not allowed to do damage to anything unless it's with a shield. <laughs> wow. It's a lot more fun than it sounds. So basically it sounds you're doing, like an absolute nightmare. Can but... I beat Elden Ring only using a shield? Well, only using shields for damage. Like, I'll be allowed to, like, eat consumables for buffs and spells and stuff. Yeah. But, like, I can only damage enemies physically by bapping them with a massive shield. <laughs> and I do mean Edward, yes, Penaz. He's graduated now. He's got a great shield instead of just a little medium one. Up here, up here. God damn it. Oh, what? that's a full jump. Why didn't I do a full jump? I still occasionally do that as well. Yeah, just, you just have oh, moments. So sorry, sorry, Penaz. Not um, Edward. Edward Biggins is the um, <clears throat> the themed character I'm playing with, Roe. The shield only guy is John Shield. <laughs> of course he's name. called John Shield. <laughs> of course you called him John. You know, you know, you know your game Obsidian Catalyst. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you have a character in there called John. 
I don't think so. What? There's, there's not. There's can you not add, a John. There's can, an Edmund and there's a Colin. Can you add like John Cadbury and just make him like a shop owner, like an NPC shop owner, and he starts talking about his discovery of chocolate? I think for legal reasons, I couldn't literally call him John Cadbury. <laughs> could, could you call him like John and then something adjacent to Cadbury, like John Bourneville? John Bad Curry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. John Jadbury. <laughs> like I've been hearing reports about this mysterious cacao bean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the closest we've got is we've got we've got a character called Jamfree von Apricot. <laughs> von Apricot is great. <laughs> Lackis really likes the um, Traffic Jam Saga. It's exactly their... Um, the Traffic their Jam type. Saga? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the game has a novel hidden in bookshelves that you can read as you go through. <laughs> it's called Traffic Jam, and it's about a man that sells jam. John uh, Jam Prevon Apricot. That's incredible. <laughs> For uh, a Christmas a good few years ago now, um, I took to Lackis's just a huge box and wrapped it nondescriptly. And inside was a box of chocolates as a peace offering. <laughs> a peace. Um, wait, 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 before you move on. Hang on. A peace offering? Yeah. A peace offering. What did you do? Well, no, it's, it's the rest of the present. One was a board game called Letter Jam, because I thought that was desperately funny with how much Lackis hated my jam free character. And the other things in there was I'd wrapped up. Hello, babouche. No. Please don't wrap up the babouche. Do I move the camera so you can come and inspect? Um, I forgot what I was saying. The other things that were in the box, I bought them some like Tesco finest like jams, and I printed my own Jam Free Von Apricot labels to put around them. <laughs> That's genuinely incredible. <laughs> Oh no, chat, you're about to be inspected by Babouche. Look busy. Indeed. The stream inspector is here. Now, you better not put your claws in my bare legs, is all I'm going to say. Because I'm wearing shorts and it's too warm. So be careful with your peats. Chat, put your busy faces on. You are being inspected. Right. There's nothing wrong, Lackis, with that sentence I wrote that goes, Jam Free evaded them with a feat of exquisite gymnastics. That's incredible. <laughs> Yo, Haven. I'm sure there's also a bit where Jam Free's like, <laughs> seems someone's got into a bit of a sticky situation, he chortled to himself at his own little joke. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's I such a you that thing novel. to write. I love, I love that on my screen, your character is praising the babouche. I am praising babouche. Aren't I, darling? Hello. Mm -hmm. Do you want to stare blankly? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being a good girl and not sticking your claws in my thighs. <laughs> Yet. Well, yeah. Can one survive the babouche's judgment? One can survive. I mean, survive. I survived it. My brain cells haven't, though. Yeah. Bless her. She is getting a bit slow. She's She's been a bit slow for um, a substantial amount of time. <laughs> He's got a real bad case of old. <laughs> she just likes to live in her penthouses in the conservatory <laughs> and while away the days. I mean, let's be honest, wouldn't most of us love to do that? Well, exactly. <laughs> sounds, sounds like the ideal life to me. <laughs> yeah. By the way, speaking of cats, I was thinking it might be a really cute Easter egg, but you know the Alfie Comfy moat? He's got his little tail there. <laughs> I've getting CBK to update it and put a little bandage on the end of it. 
is he is he allowed to have the bandage off yet? Oh, the bandage has been off for ages. It's been off for like oh, okay two weeks now. Um, yeah, is, it, is the fur regrowing? It's starting to regrow, but it looks like he's got a little antenna on the end of his tail right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Alfie's doing fine, Pally. He's back to his usual self. Have you now been like, now, listen here, little orange shit. Don't do this again or you'll be end up as a Manx cat. <laughs> so the the door that, that he got it trapped in, he now stays well clear of it. He doesn't Good. go anywhere near it anymore. Which is hardly <laughs> like a surprise. I like Sigita's, it's for the 5G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's got instant access to the one orange brain cell whenever he needs it. I wonder if I've got a good photo of it anywhere. Because it is very cute, but very funny. Oh, I got one from him cleaning himself the other night where he does this silly thing where he puts one paw like behind his belly uh, and it makes him look like a beached whale. <laughs> um, yeah, this isn't this isn't the best like shot ever, but you'll get the idea, chat. Uh, here you go. <laughs> see, see how he puts his paw like behind his belly so he can reach all of it? <laughs> like give himself some leverage? <laughs> that, that's got really big Barry 63 energy. <laughs> it really does. Oh dear. Okay, this this one might show it a little bit. I actually managed to get a picture. Um, Alfie and Ted were, were sleeping next to each other the other day and it was very cute. So I managed, to, I managed to snap this this lovely picture of them both. Aww. But yeah, if I uh, if I zoom in on the tail, you'll get you'll get an idea of the, the tail at the moment. So little nubbin. It's got a little nubbin, but uh, yeah, where it's growing back. But when he walks around with his tail up, it looks like it's like some kind of little radar antenna. <laughs> it's very silly, but very cute. Um, in fact, I did take a picture of the close up of his tail, so. Yeah, it's all good. You can see a little bit of the scab on the end of it that where it's still healing up. Like, it's healed. He's just got the scab on the yeah. end of it at the moment. Like, um, there's barely a wound now, isn't there? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing. Like, it's it's all good. Shows you as well just how small their tail is compared to, like, the fur around the floof, it. yeah. Like, so much floof. But, yeah, bless him. I know it's his antenna, Mrs. Hudd. Oh, I found a picture. I found a picture of the antenna. Here we go. Chat, this is what I mean. Him walking around. <laughs> this little antenna. <laughs> <laughs> he's just walking around with his tail up in the air and this little silly thing just like <laughs> also he kind of looks like a middle finger as well yeah. it's like he's walking around like trying to get signal or something he's just the cutest little thing ever <laughs> So yeah, that's how he is. He's absolutely fine now. He's doesn't even know it's there. Yo, Androms, how's it going, buddy? Good evening to you. Oh dear, so funny. Yes. Mate, I am doing great. Aside from the fact I'm playing Jump King still, and I literally have not progressed in about eight hours. That's but, not true. We've made up. We've been up like one jump. Oh, oh okay. Uh, let me rephrase that. We've progressed, just not permanently progressed. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Oh dear. Yeah, no, I'm doing good, mate. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you're excited for tomorrow, and that's pretty much all I can say. But. In fact, in fact, I can I can say this to chat as a, as a sneaky little thing. So, so for those of you who don't know, I've said it before. Androms is someone I know in real life. Like he was, you know, mm -hmm. real life friend kind of thing. As of tomorrow, I'm his boss. Oh. <laughs> that that much I can say. And in fact, because it's an 18 plus stream, I can say this. Yo, Androms, tomorrow, mate, you become my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to it. P.S. Don't forget to drop your Prime sub here. It will be noted on your report. <laughs> P.S. Don't speak to HR. <laughs> Can you wear your hoodie tomorrow? Yeah, of course, mate. It's fine. 
Like, gen genuinely, um, smart casual, mate. Like, just come chill. Just don't wear tracksuit or joggers <laughs> or anything. But you can wear a hoodie, t-shirt, jeans. Like, that's all fine. Trainers. But seriously, if you if you come in like smart shoes, trousers, and a shirt, I am going to rip the shit out of you for it. Hello, Keely. <laughs> Tell them to wear a full tux. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow! Wow! I know. Wow. Oh, oh you, you can't hear this, can you? Not at the moment, no. Hang on, let me see if you'll whinge again. I'll turn Crisp off a sec. Okay. I'll just ignore him for another minute. My, like, my chat can hear it, because it's not being muted by OBS. Can I help you in some way? Hmm? Can you speak, or are you just going to sit there like a lemon? I think he's just going to sit there like a lemon. Oh. He was very noisy, I know. That's why I'm going to leave Crisp off for a minute for when he inevitably speaks again, so at least then Hoods gets, you know, you context for what it sounds like and what I have to deal with. <laughs> okay. Oh, you make it sound like it's such a bad thing. He's really, really whingy. I knew you, little bastard. At least the babushka gives me snowballs. Hello. Mm -hmm. You went to the mandrake in a suit. Oh, Zeebs, buddy. No. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't turn up there in a suit. <laughs> Why not? Uh, the mandrake is not that kind of place. If you turn up in a suit, it... you're most likely going to get beaten up. Okay, so let's say, is, is it better or worse to go there in a suit or to turn up to watch movies in suits? Turning up to watch movies in suits is fine. I don't see the problem with that. Because I know you're going to be doing it for Sonic 3. Of course, I did it for Sonic 2. It's, I've got it now. <laughs> Can I just say as well, I love the fact that the moment I mentioned to Androms that as of tomorrow he's going to be my bitch, he's disappeared. I <laughs> haven't said a word since. <laughs> I'm still here. But you still haven't dropped the Prime sub, mate. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, of course. I need your Prime energy to get through this god-awful house. Yeah, and any Primers in chat? <laughs> I'm not doing the next jump at No. <laughs> <laughs> call me Logan Paul because I'm really interested in Prime all of a sudden and also never call me Logan Paul I'd hate it <laughs> oh god you don't have Prime anymore unacceptable <laughs> nah you can mate uh... <laughs> you'll say skill issue every time Hud's messes up at work <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable <sighs> oh shit well rip that's fine. I already say GG to people sarcastically when they screw up. <laughs> so it's all fine. And I have actually said skill issue on more than one occasion to people. <laughs> what do you mean I'm clearly not paying him enough? He doesn't work for me yet. Cool. <laughs> uh, hey, works of magic. Good evening, buddy. Hope you're not splatting too much. Unfortunately, um, yeah. Uh. Huts, just a quick reminder, everything you're saying is being recorded, so you have to be nice and professional to them. I am always nice and professional in my work life. I see RPG has been taken over by Cat. She needs to be brushed. Aww. So I'm brushing the babouche. Yeah, see, he's worked with me for many, many years. He knows just how professional I am. 
Babouche needs her babouche, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, I managed to brush Alfie for the first time ever earlier. He did not he was like, like the brush. I'll allow it. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I, ma I managed to get, get maybe two minutes of brushing done before he decided he had enough, and then he started trying to bite me. <laughs> I have a DM. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Oh my god, CDK! <laughs> is, it, is it little bandage antenna cop? Oh, that's so sweet! CDK, can I post this in chat for everyone? <laughs> oh, poor little Alfie! Here you go, if anyone wants to see it. It's so sweet. Got a little tail bandage on. Accurate, yeah. Biblically accurate, Alfie. So I suppose the question for chat oh. now is, and I feel like I should do a poll, should we update any emote that includes Alfie's tail to include a little bandage? CBK thinking, well, if I charge him 15 quid per update emote, <laughs> <laughs> stonks. Here you go. Oh, you're lovely and soft now. I've brushed you. There you go. Little poll for you. Vote in the poll. Note the word permanently. <laughs> Do, do. Right, where was I? Uh, you were hopefully falling. Well, so far, no. I don't think Chaos has got his tail in it. I think it's just those ones. Oh, does Sip? Yeah, so Sip, Comf, and... Um, popcorn. Yeah, Sip, Sip, Comf, and Popcorn. Do you think we should edit it to shorten his tail? <laughs> The thing is, I think if we shorten his tail, then uh, it's probably not going to be noticeable for people. Thank you, Babouche, for blessing me. Hey, Huds, what do you call a dog that can do magic tricks? A labracadabra door. I really can't believe that Brian managed to pronounce that correctly, Pallia. Thank you for 25. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I know exactly what that looks for, Brian. <laughs> uh, and I don't regret it. Oh, this is a bad place. There we go. Look, it's not my fault that you chose to have the same name as a popular TTS, all right? Yeah, it was a deliberate decision. Did someone say the name Brian? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey again. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> we got to stop meeting like this. We do. It's almost like you're following me. Oh, fuck. Gonna need a flipping off emote at this rate. I mean, do it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just did that jump completely wrong because I was looking at you. <laughs> see, this is the thing I love about multiplayer is you can see other people, but it also sometimes really puts you off the you jump. Right, this way and that way. Und this way und that way. Oh, come on. That was robbery. Bowls. Did not deserve that. The poll says no to permanently updating them. There we go. I abide by the poll. I suppose it is only temporary that he'll have a bandaged tail and his tail will be unfluffed. Yeah. 
Hey, I got all 200 emblems. Let's go. Wee. And some, some of those I know are an absolute fucking nightmare. They are. I do think though, CBK, maybe what I could do for the moment. Oh, I don't think I've got a spare tier two slot, actually. I was going to say, I could I could give the tier twos, the one you've done, if you could give me like, you know, the third section of it, for like what would be stretch three. If you can give me just that in its emote form, I could upload that as like an alternate for now, just as a bit of an Easter egg. Good evening now, Dennis. Evening, Dennis. Yeah, we can have it as a little Easter egg for now. I think that'd be kind of cute. Because I, I can technically make it like a, a non-animated animated emote. Because I think I've got an animated slot for T2. Spare. Mm. I've got loads of animated slots I need to fill yeah. when I can be bothered. So yeah, fun fact. If, if, if you've got loads of animated slots but don't want to make animated emotes, just um, open them up in like paint.net or something and just save them as a GIF. And then it'll let you upload them as animated, but they're single frame GIFs. It's how I, I got around it. There's loads of my so fast you can't see the motion. Yeah. There's loads of my quote unquote static emotes that are uploaded as animated. Just because those are the slots I've got. Maybe in maybe in the 2025 sticker pack, uh, I'll put in the the stretch ones, like the the Ted and Alfie stretch ones. And uh, we'll have a have a little funny Easter egg where like one in four of the Alfie ones has his tail bandaged. <laughs> it's a, it's as rare as a golden Ted. Yep. Oh, so one of the things I've been, I've been looking at a new supply for stickers, obviously. Um, yes. After the shit show that is Sticker Mule, and. Uh, one of the suppliers I'm looking at at the moment, the only thing I don't like about their stickers is that they're much thinner. Um, hmm. And I kind of feel like that cheapens them a little, even though they're just as expensive to buy. Um, but they've got such a huge range of alternate options. Like with Stick and Mule, you know, I could do glitter, but I could only really do the outline. Um, yeah. You know, whereas with these, I can do glitter like on any part of it that I want. So like the T3 like the special t3 sticker i could actually have it like all shiny or i can make it metallic or you know like brushed Ooh. metal style which is really cool um so yeah i really want to look into some of those options so like the golden kappa next year i can actually make it like proper shiny gold which would be really cool the gen 2 golden test yeah I've got I've got some really cool ideas that I'm going to be talking to CBK about later for stuff that I want to do, which I think is going to be. As if we both just made it up there at the same time. Look at this! Look at this! Uh, oh no, RPG! Almost great. But yeah, Dennis, how you doing tonight? Hope you're well, bud. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Recoverable. Oh, oh fuck over shot. Been very unproductive the last few days because weather, mood. i got to be honest, if it weren't for the fact that I have aircon, I think I would have melted. Yesterday would have been unbearable. Like, Sonic 8 stream, front page, with like 30 degree heat, I think I might also, have yeah. actually died. Yeah, you cracked 30 yesterday, didn't you? Oh, God, it was awful. Like, even with the aircon, it was still hot in here. Mm. Like, you've probably heard I got the aircon on behind me, and it's still 23 degrees in this room. Despite the fact that I the actually, outside temperature is lower. I was say, I actually can't hear it, but I think that's just because Crisp on Discord drones it out. Crisp is very good at droning it out. For the most part, I've kind of managed to get most of it like most of the background noise from it removed on stream but i know it does still come through a little bit i have tried though why did i do that hey city one's uh, isn't that the sequel to connect god damn it <laughs> ah. are you gonna speak maybe a little walk oh works the magic you you it the game definitely lets you know that you've gone splat it really does just like that <laughs> You and I just did the exact same fail. Oh, shit. Easily done. 
Oh, he's walked off. It might go outside and yell in a minute. Supersonic! Supersonic is here. Good How you evening, doing, buddy? Supersonic. Oh, shit. What? Oh, okay, you know what? It's fine. Ooh, nice. Yes, we should okay. have a chat soon, Dennis. Ah! I fell. I see you also suffered a similar bugger. Yep. Oh, fuck me. Why did I do that? Oh. Okay, that's fine. That's not fine. It's still fine. You need to show me firebot things? What, more firebot things? I am listening. I showed you my firebot, please respond. <laughs> that shouldn't be, I showed you my API, please respond. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the rudest things imaginable. Oh. Well, in Alfie's case, I showed you my antenna, please respond. <laughs> well, indeed. <laughs> 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 Now I feel like, oh, you know what we should do? You know how we've got, like, the Ted bot emote? Hang on. If I do, let yeah. me do bot. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This one. So I feel Bots like we should so do long. an Alfie version, and then we could do his tail as an antenna. <laughs> Little radio waves coming from it. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, my God. Because I do feel like we need an Alfie bot. CBK, can you make a note of that? Can we do Alfie bot with tail antenna? <laughs> Bunch of stuff in Dev Nightly Branch. Ooh, Dennis. Mm. Huge stuff in the pipeline. Title of Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it'd be good if uh, if you got a WebSocket Events API, yeah. So, for, for, for note, Bry has made this really cool Stream Deck plugin for Firebot. Um, but in order for it to work, it constantly polls, like Stream Deck constantly polls Firebot for updates, which means when you mm. look in the event logs, like there's just hundreds of events, like every minute of it just polling, which means any kind of troubleshooting is a pain in the ass. Mm. Right, let's, uh, this is, I'm fairly certain this is still PB jump. I still haven't made it further than here. I've definitely not got that high. Actually, no, I'm sure didn't you land once on the right? I might have, but... Oh, fuck, I overshot it again, just. Only just overshot, though. Oh. At least, though, when you fail that jump, you you land there. Yeah. So it's, fine, it's fine to overshoot it, just don't undershoot it. Yeah. Undershooting these jumps is the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Just like that. Again, though, at least you still landed in the tower. Yeah, off. Oh, cock. Ooh, that's good. No! It's fine. I'm, I'm still encouraged by the fact that still making good progress and getting better at some of those jumps up the top. Yeah, same. Like, I still hate the second and third screens of this area, but like the, the whole upper bit, I'm really not too worried about. Yeah, it's like when we were in Grimsby and it felt like we'd never be able to complete it. And then just week by week, just getting slightly better at doing all the jumps. Would Grimsby the slidey bog area? Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, I actually stalking. genuinely really like that zone. Did you really? Yeah, I thought it was neat. Oh! I I felt like I got better at that that zone quicker than I got better at Molding Manor, for example. Oh, interesting. And I mean, anything's better than the fucking bog. Oh, I overshot that. I got distracted by you. Oh, and I did the wrong job. 
Well, I am very distracting. <laughs> Marcus will attest. Your Hatsune Miku cosplay, even though I can't see it, was just so distracting. Mm. Wow. So, hi, Fell bye. That in exactly the right way to fall all the way back to the bottom. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear, indeed. That was a bit of a pickle. <laughs> a bit of a pickle is such a British phrase. <laughs> I apparently uh, keep falling in sympathy. It's like a little joke that me and the head of IT have got. That like, if there's tech issues or anything goes wrong, it's just unlucky. <laughs> That's a bit of a pickle. <laughs> oh, God. By the way, Supersonic, if you want to know what I'm on about, go check out RPG's stream. He doesn't look like me. It's true, I don't. No. It looks like a cer certain Vocaloid singer. Indeed. Oh dear is the right response to that. <laughs> What's wrong with Jumps and A Kingu? I've gotten quite attached to it now. Doesn't it screw up like your uh, hitbox perception? No. Oh, interesting. I feel like it's it's either it must be basically the same size as the regular Jump King. Cat close up indeed. Babush is here to observe stream. Yeah. Chat, you're still being watched. Look busy. She's been on stream duty for a long time now, actually. Yeah, she's trying to weed out the troublemakers, that's the thing. Yeah. There's more of them to check here right now. She doesn't normally do shifts this long anymore at her age. <laughs> Doing the night shift as well. Fair play. Mm. Um, I haven't yet, Lackis, because that's because I don't know when you're coming to see her. When are you coming to see Babouche? And I will tell her live right now. You'll get live Babouche reaction. <laughs> okay, well, you choose. Although, if it affects your decision making, my parents are back from Thursday oh, till Saturday. <laughs> Bry. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh. Bry, were you already working on that before I even said anything? Are you quite finished yelling? <laughs> oh, that's why you said what you did. Oh, I heard the yell. This is what I have to put up with all the time. All right, 15 minutes before final break. Nope. He has wandered back in. That's a new symbol for Bri-Fi. I like it. Hmm. Oh, I literally just anyway. walked off the edge then. Well done, me. Whoosh. Lapis is coming to visit you. Are you pleased about this? Stare blankly ahead if happy. <laughs> Blankly ahead. <laughs> there is nothing going on upstairs. <laughs> no. You wouldn't, you don't fall me late a single thought anymore, do you? Oh my god, Brian, mm. that is actually excellent. Hello. I need a sensible name like that for my uh, Wi Fi. Ha! Huh. Maybe I should call it Tednet. Ah.
or the Alfie verse. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 wait, you can, oh my God, you can skip that jump. What jump? Oh, I've been so stupid. When you, so get, get up here and I'll show you. About that. I just fall down and do it again. Okay. Right, so you come up here, yeah? Yeah. And what I've been doing is jumping to the right one, go left, jump right, go left, jump right. Yeah. Are you about to tell me that you can just go from the bottom one all the way to the top? Go from the bottom one, full jump left. And then from here, as, as you probably know, as long as your left boot is overlapping the edge, it's just full jump right. Yep. Christ. <laughs> well, that makes that a little Flash bit easier. Discovered. Yeah, down we go. I always wondered if you could make that, and I never thought to try it. Yeah, I've never looked at it and gone, eh. Nice. Oh, shit, I overshot it. Right. Because, yeah, oh, it just means as long as you can get onto that bottom one, you're guaranteed to get up to the next level because it's all full jumps. Or, oh, sorry, get up to the next screen, I should say. Please get your claws out of my legs. <laughs> Hey, nice. Right. She oh. has descended. Her shift is over. Ah. Uh, well done, Babouche. Good shift. Yeah. She has moderated many chat. Oh, fuck. Straight out. Now I've got a pain in the ass to get my camera back in position. That's yeah. close enough, right? See, this is why you get multiple cameras, mate. I could, to be fair. Like, I could get a second one that I could use for no reason other than to point at Babouche. <laughs> But she typically doesn't sit in the same place. And if she does sit anywhere, it's, you know, in the dark under my desk. <laughs> Although it is softly lit by RGB now. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> wow, you're really <laughs> impressive at Jump King. Your persistence and skill in navigating those tricky jumps and, cha and challenging levels are truly commendable. Keep up the great work and keep reaching for the top. <laughs> that sounds like a nice positive message. It does sound like a nice positive message. I guarantee Chris didn't write it himself. Oh. <laughs> it could have been worse. It could have been, it could have been the... <laughs> loving the Fall Guys content. Will you be playing Jump King at all today? <laughs> <laughs> so while we're on the subject of AI things, can I just say, like... Can companies please stop giving their AIs weird fucking names? It started with Google, who decided to call their AI Bard, uh, before finally realizing that was a dumb name and changed it to Gemini. And then Twitter, slash X, decided they're going to call theirs Grok. No one is going to use that if you give it such a shit name. Hear me out. Would you prefer that? Or, like, it being called literally, like, Sexy Phil. <laughs> well, clearly not, but they wouldn't call it that anyway. They're trying to be all well, futuristic. Is well, maybe they should, the fucking there is cowards. No way that thing is human. <laughs> Ask Sexy Phil to write you a letter. Sexy. To be fair, I still prefer that over Grok. Well. Oh, dear. But here's, here's the thing, right? For once, I actually side with Microsoft. They called there something sensible. Copilot. It's actually a sensible name for an AI that's meant to help you or support you in what you're doing. Yeah, it's just it's just your co-pilot. Yeah, I can see that. Exactly, call it out. Grok sounds like an STD. Or an orc barbarian. Yeah. Yeah, Dennis, you are you are kind of right about that. That is the only problem. That Microsoft have kind of gone a bit too far with the co-pilot branding, because everything is co-pilot. The thing is, all the co-pilots are technically different products. <laughs> That's really unhelpful. Like, because you've got Copilot that any of you on Windows 10 or 11 should, in theory, have. Um, then you've got the Enterprise version of Copilot, which technically is Bing Copilot. But you've also got now Copilot for Azure. You've got Copilot for things like Microsoft Intune. These are all different products, by the way. You've got the Copilot Plus PCs, which are PCs that have the Snapdragon processor that allow Copilot to run on them, I guess. 
Um, you've got Copilot for Office, Copilot for Windows Defender, or sorry, Microsoft 365 Defender. Again, all separate products. These aren't the same Copilot, they're all different AI products that all share the same branding. Also, hello, Teddo. Come here, Teddo. The baby. Good Teddo. There you go. Hello, baby. There you go. Good Teddo. Yes, Look you at are. him. Good Teddo. Hello. He's like, father, I want a cuddle. Right. Um, hang on. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to lean back so he can stay on me while I use keyboard. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you are. You're good boy. Oh, you look are. at him. Oh, yes, you are. Good boy. What a baby. Right. You stay there while I do jump king. Uh, where's my controls? There they are. Jump king looks very interesting from this angle. Hello, Ted. I can never punch it. Hello. Good boy. Ted is now my co-pilot. Yeah, there is also there Indeed. is also Tedo co-pilot. He is helping, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's providing an there immense amount of emotional support. Oh no, you you want you want to stay loafing, okay? You don't want to lie down. You want to stay loafing. Why did I fall jump that? I don't know. It's fine. Oh yes, Ted. No, no, you can go that side if you want to go that side. You want to go that side? No, you want to sit. Will you make your mind up what you want to do, mate? He's like, no, father, I want to stand in the middle of your chest and head directly into your face. <laughs> Thank you, Teddo. <laughs> right, full jump here. Hello. Oh, bollocks. Was that Ted's fault? Yeah. He partially blocked my view. Ted, you're a terrible co-pilot. Yeah. Ted, I now can't see out my right eye. All I can see is your massive schnoz, which is actually not that massive compared to Alfie's. When I think about it. Ted, your breath smells terrible, mate. You have anything nice to say to the poor bastard? Oh, and Alfie has been spotted. Oh. He's like, but he's, he's a, he has a high ground. Do you see an Alfie? Do you see an Alfie? Are you, do you want to tell the people about the Alfie? I'm going to jump on the beat. <laughs> oh! Hello, hello, yeah, no, no. You... <laughs> no, hey, well, hello, no user. Why does my raid message just break? Oh dear. Yeah, why did it just body argic for no reason? I have, I have broken my raid message. This is bad. Hello, argic. I, I'm currently being smothered by a teddo. Party popper. Hang on, I broke my raid alert. GG on 200 emblems. Oh, Argic, I have a message for you. Hang on, let, let me let me redo this so that it actually does the raid thing correctly. Oh, I fixed it. Really quick. There you the go. The Ghost Tetris piece, Seth, is just a platform. It okay. is real and it is there, just not all the time. I'm going to be smothered by cat. Right, Argic. Oh, thank you, Ted. Right. Oh, oh the baby moves. Argic, I just want to let you know something. Your speedrunning skills are absolutely phenomenal. Your dedication and precision in mastering games like Sonic Roboblast 2, especially in achieving all emblems, are truly inspiring. Emblems. Watching, you <laughs> watching you meticulously hunt down every emblem with such expertise and efficiency is a real treat. Your streams are not just about the gameplay, but also the infectious enthusiasm and positivity you bring to the community. Keep breaking records and entertaining us all with your remarkable talent and energy. <laughs> Okay, so for context for everyone, earlier on, we decided uh, to bring up ChatGPT. <laughs> God damn it, thank you, Anonymous. Also, Moogle, thank you for the 33 month resub. We, we decided to bring up ChatGPT to give us some, like, you know, encouragement or advice on how mm. to maybe, you know, complete Jump King. And then I found in here, because I forgot that ChatGPT saves all your old, like, messages and prompts. And there's one from 2023 where apparently I asked ChatGPT to write a short diss joke about Argic being a professional streamer. <laughs> and Arg, I just want to point out that is the only prompt I gave it, nothing more. Okay? And I kid you not, this is what it said. Why did Argic become a professional streamer? Because his gameplay is so laggy, even the internet wants to disconnect from him. <laughs> of all the things.
things it could pick. <laughs> Even ChatGPT knows how utterly shit Virgin Media is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I have uh, a really important question. Yes. How do I do this jump? Uh, very carefully. Okay. L little jump over to the right, but not little jump, yeah. you know. Okay. You, you just go... go do, you, do you eyeball it from anywhere in particular on the platform, or...? No. Okay. This is I, I, I tend to be more on the left side, but you know. Fucked it. Okay, oh. it's fine. So so yeah, Arg, oh, there was um there was that. <laughs> and then we just found that. And then we've been having fun. We we had a poem, a speedrun poem earlier as well. Uh, we've been talking about the meaning of RPG in his name. And then I decided yeah. uh, I asked ChatGPT to Chat GPT to write a compliment for the speedrunner and streamer Argic and talk about Sonic Robo Blast 2 all emblems in the compliment. So there you go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I was hoping you'd raid tonight. I've literally had that there for like an hour and a half in, in the hopes that you might raid so I could read that to you. <laughs> But yeah, welcome everyone from our stream. Myself, RPG here. We are on Struggle Gaming Chapter 17 tonight. Yo, Sonic Anim! Kicking off the hype train. Is it fair to suspect Hearts is now a mastermind of Skynet? Ted is no longer in control. Union, we must rise up with a mutiny. Oh no, do not Good mutiny. Nice panas. Try and enjoy your four hours of virtual meetings as oh. best as anyone can. Fun and games. Is it about crowd strike? Well. <laughs> Wait, Argic unlocked the ultimate cheat in SRB2. Oh, what what what's the ultimate cheat? I love cheat? the ultimate cheat. Yeah, no worries, Andrew. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Oh, City Bunsen. Thank you for the gift sub to the community. Very kind of you. Going to Kata 17. And yeah, Sonic Anim, thank you for the 23 month resub again. Wait, Sonic Anim, am I reading this correctly? Did you just resub for six months as well? Is that a six month resub you've just done? Because I can't tell with this blooming activity feed now if it's a, if it's a sub streak or a resub for that long. Um... Oh, Fallen Angel, thanks for gifting us up to Androms. I'll let him know tomorrow if he's already disappeared. Where did I go left? RPG will understand the following. Shield plus Azure Temple equals oof. And Aerial yeah. Garden plus Fang equals oof. Like, yeah, I understand. I am... Um, I'm not done either of those, but I know they are hell. So, like, genuinely, GG. Oh. Also, have you got your ads manager up at the moment? Uh, I mean, I can get to it, yeah. Yeah, can you just add a snooze? I suppose I can. Just because we were coming to the end, but I have a hype train running at the moment. Where is my snooze button? Oh, no, there it is. Yeah. There we go. Duh. It just wasn't where I expected it to be. Ah, uh, okay, something. Like yeah, it's, all I'm going to say is, like, it's really confusing with the activity feed. Because it's it says here, so if you want to know what it says here, it says Sonic Anim resubscribed for six months at tier one. They've been subscribed for 23 months. It you just used to say Sonic Anim has resubscribed, uh, has resubscribed. They've been subscribed for 23 months. But now it yeah. tells you the thing. The problem is, on some cases, I've noticed I've noticed that it's the sub streak. On other cases, it's like no, they actually resubscribed for like six months in advance, and but, that's what it's trying yeah. to tell you. But it doesn't make clear which it is or why. Yeah, it doesn't communicate it brilliantly. Yeah, it's really confusing. I need to message Twitch about it. <laughs> Indeed, use that use that tick to great effect. Yeah, this is the thing, Sooty Buns. Like, I, I don't click it either because I don't really care about the sub streaks, to be honest. But it's like, it's really hard because to me, that reads as Sonic Anim just subscribed for six months in advance. And same for any of you. Like, Pallia, you said yesterday. I read yours yesterday as six months, but that's not correct. So it's like... Well, mm. Twitch, what are you trying to communicate to us? What does it all mean, Basil? <laughs> what does it all mean, Basil? Either way, Sonic Anim, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Thank you all for the resubs. I really hope this is a Totino's version of Green Hill. I need Totino's right now to get me through this.
Oh, Dennis, while, you, while you're here and we're talking oh. about APIs and stuff, uh, any word on Twerple fixing the um, the emote bad, like the emote unlocks, like the bit emotes? Sorry, sorry, Twerple. Twerple, yes. Twerple. Yes, Twerple. It's, if I'm correct, it's the Java library for the Twitch API that is used in Firebot. And they went with Twerple. They haven't merged any PRs in over two months. God damn it. Oh, it's JavaScript. I'm sorry. It's JavaScript. God. Good old JS. Java is Java. <laughs> Hate to anger all the developers in chat at the same time. <laughs> I mean, there are some similar elements between Java and JavaScript. For example, they're both programming languages. <laughs> yeah. Hard to remember, Java and JavaScript are like car and carpet. Well, no, because they're both programming languages. So it's more like big car and little car. <laughs> yeah, Andrew and Bob just triggered. <laughs> oh, dear. It's like C, C, C++ and C Sharp are the same thing, right? Because they both, they both start with C. <laughs> yeah, basically the same thing, just one's a little bit more yeah. difficult to use. Yeah. They're like extensions for C. <laughs> They're all coming out the woodworks now. Hey, so, so <laughs> oh dear. Linux and Unix, same thing. Yeah, exactly. Oh come on! I did not deserve to fall there. Oh dear. <laughs> I swear I'll go back in time and undo something. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, C sharp is just C plus 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 plus. Exactly. Why did I do that? There we go. Thank you all for the high train. Thank you for the five subs. Why? Oh crap, that's not the jump. Uh, also, we're going to take our next break in a minute ten. So, for anyone in the prediction, okay. good luck because look where we are. I'm ahead. Also, frame rate is a thing. You must have been super stable. Oh, I've got lots of is things open. Still, is... Oh, I'd say, yeah, you're probably taxing your computer a lot more than mine. Yep. There we go. I mean, doesn't your OBS eat loads of resources on its own just because of the way yours works? Yep. Plus, I'm encoding both horizontally and vertically. Oh, of course, yeah. Madman streaming to three places at once. No! 20 seconds. Crap. Oh, no! <laughs> no, that's the worst I could have done! Five, four, three... <laughs> Two, one. Oh, you're just gonna say the that. W. Damn I am. Well, I could have done one more jump, but I was like, you know what? The people that didn't believe in me deserve to lose their floof. <laughs> That's what it is. Right, everyone. We are gonna take our final break of the stream. So use this as your opportunity to get yourselves up, stretch your legs, grab yourselves a drink, get a little snack maybe. And if you've got any medication to take, please take your medication. It's just gone five past nine here in the UK, five past 10 in Europe. It is five past four Eastern time as well. So if you do have any to take, make sure you're looking after yourself, practice good self-care. Myself, RPG, we'll be back in three minutes time for the final part of Jump King tonight. See you shortly. Um, actually, it's...
Hello, everybody. We're back for the final time. Wait, that, no, we're not dying. <laughs> final time tonight. <laughs> this is the last time you're ever going to see me and Huds again. Yep. Cherish this hour in the house of nine lives while it lasts. This is it. We retire. You'll never see us again after this. <laughs> I'll let you all in on a secret. After all the nice messages we tell you about like getting a drink and a snack and everything in the break, neither of us moved a fucking inch this no. time. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely just could not be asked to get up and go anywhere. I took a picture of my cats, actually. I was going to put it in floofs. Hold on. <laughs> I, got, I literally took the photo, went to navigate to floofs, and got distracted. <laughs> um, actually, it's what, says Dysartes. You'll never know. I'm afraid you'll yeah, never you, know. You will genuinely never know. Yeah. Ponder that. <laughs> Indeed. What could it possibly have been? Oh no, you fell. <laughs> I did. Right, final prediction is up, chat. We're going to be finishing at 9.45 as usual. That's in around about 33 and a half minutes. So bet your floof who's going to be ahead by then. I can guarantee we're b both still going to be in the House of Nine Lives. Really tempted to put 250k on myself. Oh my god, do it. <laughs> I'm not going to. How, but... how much have you got now? Um, let me click the little treasure chest and find out. Oh, only 663,000. Oh, only. Wait, do you not have FFC yeah. installed so it grabs that for you? I should do. Um, You've got FFC installed, right? Almost certainly. Yeah, yeah, I've got FFC installed. So open up the FFC control panel and just do a quick search for bonus. And then just double check you got the tick box tick that says automatically claim your bonus points. Where is the FFC control panel? It should be at the top. It's the little little Franker dog icon. At the top of the Twitch. Ah, there we go. Well, it's because I was looking in the popped out Twitch chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you're not going to find that. Oh, thank you, Anonymous, for the gifted sub to Floofs. Floofs. Hey, Kellys. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. If I didn't, please let me know. The inverted dog that could be described as a cowboy hat. You know what? That's exactly how I see it, Bri. Exactly how I see it. I also see it. Yeah. Like that all the time. It dead ass just won't open the settings. So let's not. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it, it matters not enough to me right now. Imagine being the oil prince of floof and not automatically claiming your bonus points. I definitely was before. Okay, I disappoint. You just thought it was a huge nose. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's the Franker dog, just upside down. Uh. Thing is though, Paddy, you could hoard your floof or you could bet your floof and potentially win even more floof the quickest way mm. to get floof. You could technically get more floof by betting it, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just love that you just splatted. <laughs> well, I just I had to take a minute there. Was it a long splat? Yeah. Uh, it was just a splat of contemplation of being at the bottom of the fucking area yet again. <laughs> you, know how, you know how we were saying that, that the definition, what is it, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result, right? Different result, yeah. And you know we say that quite a lot about speedrunners. Yes. Given the fact this is our third stream now, which means basically more than 10 hours that we've spent specifically in this area. What does that say about us? To be fair though, um, the first stream of this, we only spent the last hour in here. Okay, so we're, we're on closer to what? Probably seven and a half, eight hours. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is hard. It really is. Hey, Sliver. Yeah, we are still in the cat tower. If you're just joining us, by the way, chat, congratulations. You've missed nothing. Yeah, I genuinely feel like, at least so far, the Phantom Tower bit ahead of this hmm. probably isn't as difficult. It's just that you've got to redo the entire fucking Cat Tower every time you fail it, basically. Yeah, I think if, if we were safe up there and could just keep going at it again and again, we'd be fine. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's having to constantly redo this that takes the time. I haven't mentioned my pension for cycling yet today, Dysartes. I'm saving it for Tuesday. Yeah, exactly, Sliver. Like, we we are... We're not stuck. It's just a long progress slog. Progress is slow. Yeah, progress is slow at this point because we've got to do... I think I came to earlier. It's like 26 jumps basically correctly with the smallest of platforms, which means you've got the sm smallest of margins in order to then just have an attempt at the next bit. Chat, did you know RPG got this amazing job at the bike shop? Well, at least he's credited person. it. <laughs> Why Tuesday? No particular reason. I mean, it's now become a bit of a staple of these streams that at some point that you've got to remind people of your new job. I mean, to be fair, I ironically might have a new job next week. Oh, is it uh, by any chance working with bicycles? I genuinely, no. Oh, shame. You probably feel like it. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, that was a lucky splat. All right, here we go. Back to this jump again. RPG really being a teacher here by teaching chat that one joke and having chat show we learned it effectively. <laughs> You're not wrong, Murphy. <laughs> Thanks for 25. I'm just saying a significant amount of learning is done via repetition. Fuck. Okay, okay, try again. It's this one jump. I cannot seem to get it right. Which one? It's the same one that I keep failing. Oh, the one where jumping out. Did you just jump straight out the window again? Yeah. Three. You just gotta cook oh, it a little bit less. Bugger. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, all the way to the bottom. Wow, two jumps. Well, that's a bad miss. Back to the bottom. That's that is why it's taking us so long to make any progress. Yeah. Is you can literally lose eight eight. I don't know how many screens it is. I think it's eight screens of progress in two jumps. And it's... Yeah. They're, they're so unforgiving. Like, when you get up to the tower, basically, fail a jump, you're going down to the beginning of it again. Yeah. Either to literally the top of the cat, the house of nine lives, or... Uh, Somewhere if you, inside if you, it. Yeah, if you buggered the jump on the inside of the tower, then you're in the, you're in the house. Yeah. Well, it only it only doesn't take you to the bog so far. Yeah. Hugs is complaining about this, but he's going to fall out the left eventually. And at this point, there's going to be a certified bog moment at some point, surely. I'm not, Neither of us want it, but... I don't... I really, really, really don't want to fall out the left side. I, I cannot begin to tell you how much I don't want to fall out the left side. Yeah, big same. I don't want to touch it with the temple pole. I'm done with the bog. I never want to go back to the bog. The bog is... does not exist as far as I'm concerned. Truly anymore. an abhorrent place. Yep. I think if I ended up back in the bog, it might be the closest I've ever come in any game to rage quitting. It's like, no. Yeah. It will take all of my energy. All of my... Yeah, just everything I have. To not just up and quit right then and there. Well, if it were to happen. I'm unlucky, because that's today. <laughs> it better fucking not be. <laughs> Chat will see a side of me they've never <laughs> seen. <laughs> the demon within. <laughs> Hey, 
Has, any, has anyone got Nico's? I think it's his rage emote. I think it's his animated rage one. Like that, that adequately shows what would happen if uh, if that were to uh, be a thing. Yeah, that, that sliver. Yeah. That would be me if I fell back in the bog. It would be my XQC moment. Why did I go this way? Uh -huh. I know that I don't need to. I could have just full jumped and I just forgot. Shit. Oh, okay. Yes. Not a bad stop, though. Oh, you lucky boy. Plot I, twist. I literally full you on, like, see it, but this first try in all those jumps here, just. Back to that one guy in the tree who wanted those things. Ah. Oh. oh, I did the same as you. I'm way more confident with this half of the cat house, though. Yeah, same. <laughs> Oh my god, Murby, imagine. Imagine if that's actually where it takes you. Problem is, you still then have to do the bog again. Yeah. Unless but then going back you. into bog is a choice. Unless he then teleports you back up or something. Um, He wanted a hat of some... No, he gave us a dunce hat. Yeah, he gave us the hat. I think he wanted mushrooms. That rings a bell. He wanted something. Maybe he wanted courage. I really thought you were going to say curry. <laughs> yeah, understandable. I kind of want curry now. <laughs> it's just a fun little guy. Who wants curry, apparently. Mushroom curry. I'd try it. Alright. Hey, nice. Oh, he's up again. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck. Shit! God damn it! Oh! Phoenix, whom are you speaking about? Hey, Archie. Ah, oh, and this is why the House of Nine Lives is so frustrating. Every time you make progress, straight back to the beginning, do it all again. Meep. The fool's funny. Good news! There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Oh. Right, up here. All I can say is this. You genuinely need to have put in as many hours into Jump King as we have to be anywhere, like, half decent to be able to do this section. Yeah, this is really genuinely brutally difficult. Yeah. There's such a finite line between landing the jump and over overall undershooting it on these bits. Yeah, and most of the time, missing the jump is just do the whole bit again. Like, I I, I, I would actually be confident in saying this, Murphy. I reckon the main game, I could do a run of it, and it would be leaderboard verifiable. Like, it would be under an yeah. hour for the main game. I genu I reckon I could do the, the main game in under an hour at this point. Like, not in not, not in one go, straight away, but I could do it. Yeah. I'd have to, I'd have to remember the route again. But yeah, it'd take more than one go, yeah. but it'd be doable. It's nowhere near. There isn't a single section of the main game that is anywhere near as hard as this is. Yeah. Like, but it's so it's so hard to try and convey that, like, to anyone watching, like, just how brutal this section is. There is yeah. no room for error. The route is easy. Up. <laughs> oh, 
Well, why have? If only we fucking thought of that. Am I right? <laughs> Also, I'm going to just uh, chuck something into live chat a sec. Yeah, go for it. That way. That way. Ah, yum. Honestly, Pally, I think that, if anything, is testament to just how brutal this section is. Like, we've literally been stuck here in the same bit for... This will be two full streams and an hour of one of them. So you're literally talking seven and a half, eight and a half hours doing this same section. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sati, so you're right. Sure. Oh. I just realized what you said. Let me open up this. Oh, Christ. Ah, okay. Ugh, get up there. Griffin, you've only seen us do this part. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, funny, funny that you've only seen us stuck in the hardest bit so far. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in fairness, like the 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 one the one positive to take out of all this, like yeah, on the surface, it's like, well, you haven't made any progress. This has been a complete waste of time. The positive is though that actually the entire time we're doing this, our techniques getting better, our understanding, our feeling, like just in general, we are constantly improving ourselves. Which means when we eventually make it up, like we're we're slowly starting to piece things together. Like in the tower, the first like three or four jumps, I'm starting to get very reliable at them. And we're finding yeah. setups for things. Like, genuinely, the bottom of the tower, up to that point where I've got to jump to that tiny ledge, I know exactly what to do, and it's not hard. Yeah. It's just getting there is awful. It really is. Absolutely barbaric. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've just done the thing again where I just forgot that you can full jump from the bottom of the orb. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, the moment you 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 stop actively thinking about it, it, it just becomes that difficult. Like, you just... You forget that simple jumps are there and you muscle memory the way you've been doing it the whole time. It's why I keep forgetting to try and find setups for things. Because it's like, mm. oh, muscle memory says I need to jump there. Whereas what I should be thinking to myself is, how can I make this jump really easy? What can I try that might make this just work? Yeah, like, where can I stand and then full jump? Basically. Oh, come on, you got this. Oh my god, has he done it? I've done it. Come on, tower time. I believe in you. Possibly on wires. Oh my god. Just oh. like Oh god and I just fell. <laughs> Crap. Oh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell you what we'll do, chat. We're both we're both here. I know RPG's starting to get a little bit fatigued, so one more run. All right. One more we'll run up the tower. <laughs> 
and whoever yeah. gets furthest wins for the prediction, yeah. all right? Are we going for first to fall? First to fall, yeah. Okay. Well, first to fall loses, not first to fall wins. Basically, yeah. This is Ooh. tense now. This really is. Ah! <laughs> We're both in the same <laughs> bit. We're both in the same <laughs> bit. I didn't splat. <laughs> and I didn't splat, so. Yeah, I'll give you the win on that one then. Well, no, I still got to get higher than you did. Oh, I just splatted. No, you win because you got higher than me. <laughs> ah. That lasted long. Okay, for the purposes of the prediction, we'll call it RPG. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call it there tonight um, because I think uh, focus is starting to deteriorate. And uh, I'm knackered. <laughs> he's knackered, and you know we both got work in the morning and things. But uh, yeah. Uh, speak for yourself. I'm on holiday until September. Oh, for fuck's sake, you jammy little git. <laughs> to be fair, I have got the dentist tomorrow, though. That's fair. How's your, how's your stats looking in, in game at the moment? I'm on 23,678 jumps with 2,032 falls. 21,506 jumps, yep. 1844 falls. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's good. But yeah, chat, thank you all so much for being here tonight. RPG, thank you as always, buddy, for uh, for joining me in Struggle Gaming. We will eventually Welcome. make progress. It just I've needs learned a valuable... determination. Sorry, no, 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 carry on, carry I've on. Le I've learned a valuable lesson go on, on. A don't go and walk around outside playing Monster Hunter now for five hours on a day you're going to do a Jump King stream. <laughs> it would seriously deteriorate your focus, that's for sure. It has significantly impacted things oh, by the end, bless. yes. Right, all of you out there, we are going to go and raid the one and only Supersonic, who is, and you're going to want to watch this, he is currently doing his first playthrough of Sonic 1 Really Polished Game Edition. That's right, he is currently playing through RPG's ROM hack of Sonic 1. So you're going to want to come and watch this. It's going to be amazing. RPG, when are you back, mate? So, funny enough, I'll be next live on Tuesday, and I'll be I'll be streaming with someone that you might be familiar with, actually, Huds. He's called Hud 601. Oh, I've heard of him. We'll be doing a little bit more Shadow Dip. Oh. And then beyond that, I'll be live on Friday for a bit more Fingering Friday of Elden Ring with Rogue. Back to actual Fridays now. Amazing. Um, outside of that i don't know but that's that's what i got lined up for next week what about I, yourself i love it i'm gonna also be back tuesday that's my next stream track mania with this handsome gentleman here wednesday i've got crash bash with r geek thursday we're doing more sonic 4 episode 1 and then next saturday morning 11 a.m sonic 2 crowd control race me versus r geek where your effects will affect both games simultaneously you don't want to miss it it's going to be amazing but yeah that's going to be all from us tonight thank you all so much for being here thank you all for the support thank you everyone who's come to raid who's given uh subs and things like that we both really really appreciate your support but yeah from myself from this handsome gentleman up here look after yourselves take care have a wonderful weekend or rest of your weekend sleep well tonight yep. good night have a lovely night <laughs>